Hello fellow survivors and welcome to Tales from the Far Territory, the first video about this new region. And this here is a blind playthrough. So what this means is when the DLC was launched, I immediately hopped into the game without looking anything up other than the launch trailer itself and I hopped in blind. So in this video, you're going to see me explore the region for the first time without knowing anything about it, where anything is and what to expect from it. Now I've done this once before with Blackrock where I hopped into Blackrock without knowing anything about the loot spawn. But of course I kind of knew the map because of the story mode, so it's not quite the same. But in this instance, I didn't know anything about the map at all, other than some sneak peeks that have been shown throughout the last few months. So this is a brand new experience and they'd also changed the loot table. So this is me going into it blind and not knowing where anything is and seeing if I can survive on Interloper. Now it turned out that you couldn't actually spawn in the new region. So instead I did a custom interloper run and I spawned in Broken Railroad, which connects to the new region. So the first hour or so of this video is me getting settled in Broken Railroad before I head out and explore it. And I, of course, I don't explore the entirety of the new region because there's only so much I could do because eventually I want to watch other content creators too, but I explored a decent chunk of it. And this is how you could survive uh, on interloper without knowing anything about it. And this is the closest that I could get to feeling lost. I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you in the far range. Let's get to it. Hello fellow survivors and welcome to the long dark DLC Tales from the Far Territory. Highly awaited and hyped and I already love the music. Now this particular version that you're about to watch now it might not be exactly like this by the time you actually watch it because we had to cheese our way into getting this to work. This is about an hour and a half after the update came out and no one can get it to work. There was a whole ordeal, kept getting error messages. No one got it to work until someone finally figured out that you could copy a file in the long dark folder from Wintermute, put it in the main folder and then it would launch. Which does mean that probably while I'm playing this, there is a possibility that there'll be another patch at some point, in which case it will get fixed and the save might get lost. But if it does, it does. It's a one-time thing. So this code here, this build, probably will not be the build in the future. But let's give it a go. Let's see what happens, eh? So we don't really know much about it. Uh, they showed a, um, a, a trailer where they talked about the region and stuff, but they didn't really say anything else. So we don't really know exactly what's new, but let's see what we can find out. So, wow, uh, Forsaken Airfield. Nice. Uh, well, they did say some things like those and things. Do they have uh, Hunted Path 3? No, they don't. Okay. Right. Uh, new. I want to do not interloper, technically, but custom, because we're going to spawn there if we can. I'm going to put interloper. Let me quickly have a look at this if they change something. This all seems the same. Oh, there is cabin fever, sprain. We don't have insomnia turn an option here. Gear. Item decay rate. Wildlife fish. Nothing here is different. Okay, well let's just see what happens, shall we? Uh, okay, we cannot spawn in bro in Forsaken Airfield. Hmm. Okay, well I guess we're spawning here then. Let's see what happens. Normally I always go for Astrid, but today we're gonna go for Will. And uh, feeds. Oh, it says they're all new, but of course they're not new. <laughs> but we do the usual with this one. And this one. Oh. 
All right, let's see what happens. Let's see if it's, <laughs> if it's any actual difference. Or is this like the purgatory version we're playing now? Let's see. All right, we're in Broken Ware Road, right by the entrance. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, that, that sensitivity is way too high. Did I change my settings or something? I need to check that out. That doesn't feel right. Uh, I don't remember what it was before. Unless I... I may have clicked the button. Oh, that's better, yeah. That's better. Alright, we're gonna have to make our way to... Maintenance Yard right away. I'm gonna take a short detour over here, just in case... They have the wolf spawn changed. Uh, there might be a... Uh, let's see if this corpse is still here. It would be weird if I'm playing the base game, but then it's just like... Everything's the same. But the menu works. If so, you're watching a one, once in a lifetime video, which is literally the same game. But in the old patch. Uh, let's see what we got there. Uh, probably gonna get frostbite. The spawning here is... A, Oh, yeah, they have changed it. Oh, damn. Uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, click press. I probably need to also have auto walk on. Yeah, so they changed it. That all got bugged. Gosh, now it feels really slow, this. Was it always this slow? I don't remember what it was before. I don't know, this feels way too fast, but the menu feels so slow. The menu is slow, but the in-game is fine. Let's change it back to 30. I don't know. I'll give that a go. There we go, that's more like it. Time of day, okay, it's night. I'm not gonna go down there. Let's see if they change this. Can't feel my hands. I think I don't think those sounds used to be there. Oh I don't suppose actually the entrance is down here. <laughs> That will be something. Uh, it's a bit so hard to cold. tell, but I don't think it is. Just to lay down for a bit. Take the landslide up here. Come on. All right, let's go. Come on. Yeah. There are some new noises that I have not heard before. <laughs> the walls... The walls is a problem. They're spawning here. I, I need to get stones. Uh, we, uh, wow. Uh, I'm probably gonna get Frost Sprite, but that's okay. I'm not gonna grab any rabbits. I do need to get stones. It's gonna be my only defense against the wolves. I don't want the rabbits, but I do want the stones. Frostbite, we haven't got Frostbite Risk yet, so unless there's a corpse here. Flare would be amazing. I don't see any corpse. I don't see stones either. Okay, there's a wolf down in the ravine. Not the ravine, but the thingy place. That's a wolf right there. Right there. Okay. Ross by the risk. Okay. I think we might be able to do this. See if there's anything here, quick. We need to be able to get down to uh, to the broken railroads without encountering the wolves. 
think I know how we can do that. We need to go over the ledge and down. We cannot go through the main entrance here. If I do, if I go down here, we're gonna die. We'll check out interface stuff later. Gunsmithing book. Yeah, that will not come in handy. Uh, let me think. Inside Broken Railroad, there's usually matches, but they may have changed that. We're not going to go on a journey to do a Forsaken Airfield until we know where to go. Let's check out here quick too. This looks different. Was there always a car out there? I don't think so. Was there? Flare, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Only thing, I don't have a stone, but we can do this. Alright, lost by risk is fine. Is that actually, while we're here, let's just check this out. This... That car is new. Yeah, look at this, we can cross it! We can cross it, okay. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Then we can actually go, we can go into uh, Forsaken Airfield. Or rather, the journey. But first, we need to get inside. We need to get some loot. Uh, we need torches. We need fire. It's going to be a long journey there. Uh, we need... Uh, I don't even know if it can be done, you know, on Interloper. Maybe it can, uh, if you spawn here, but... We'll have to find out. But you can't spawn there, it's interesting, isn't it? Uh, let's see if I can make my way inside without alerting the wolves. Wood? No wood, but there's wolves. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Alright, we're gonna have to light this flare regardless. Because we need to make it fire. Okay. We're cold, but barely. Food. Uh, wood. Let's warm up first. Coal. We're not going to do forging here, so that's all right. Start a fire. Oh god, why is that different? Only tinder, damn. Uh, this is quickly. Oh, I don't know what's going on, but the way the game moves in the game and in the interaction is is different. So like when I'm in the in the interface clicking like fires and things, it moves different than it does here. It's it's very strange. Come on, little fire. I'm not sure what's happened then. Is that something to do with the update or is it some settings or what? But all right, we got that. Uh, make water. Right. God, this is so slow. Right, before we do anything, let me have a quick look at this, because this is weird. Um, damp, and yes, that should be on. Auto walk, on eating. No, we don't need that. Uh, well, display, everything is... Why would this be off? This should always be on. That's weird. Uh, quality, this is probably all the same. Uh, audio... It's fine, but then controls, aim sensitivity, what's, what's aim sensitivity? Lock, mouse, is prevent sounds on leaving the car, I guess, so mouse, me oh, it's this, I bet. Is it this? Enable gamepad. What's that? Okay. It's way too fast still. I don't understand what's going on there. Uh, let's take this off, see if that makes any difference. But that's better. 
That's still a bit fast now, but change this to 25. Guess that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. How about this? Better. Okay. Okay. Well, you you burn. Oh God. You can tell I'm uh, not used to these controls. I'm not sure what's going on there. All right. Let's have a look around. Let's go into the office first. Wait, what? what happened there? Your gut. All right. Can make a line with it. All right, let's see if we go. Oh, wow, I didn't see this. Hope I can still Dog eat food. this. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't think we'll check the special crate. Maybe we could check it. Book. Crackers. Tinder. Tea. Nothing. Book. Pry bar. Uh, taking the books because it's it's fuel. I just keep looking for stuff. What clothing am I missing? Everything. Alright, cloth, that's good. Get that later. This can have food in it, we don't need that though. Let's see if the uh, jerry can is still here. God damn freezing. Let's check the table. Ah, uh, pry bar. Nice. There we are. Alright. Just warm up a little bit. How's the water going? This is just warm up. Take another one. Uh, it's still slow there. I'm not sure what's going on there. Was this always there? I don't know. Derek can is not there, so they changed that. Uh, I need the cloth actually. Handbook for I <laughs> guns. <laughs> I really should remove that. That was the point. It's, it's so clunky. I don't know what's going on with that. Alright. Uh, we're gonna grab all the coal. This will come in here. Rifle shell casing. Okay. That's a first for interloper. Really? Alright. That means we can make bullets. Which will be weird. I don't think that's intended. I think that's uh, like the HIV bullets. Oh, we got some coal over here, I presume. Yeah. Grab, grab, grab. Hey, archery book. What have we here? Canola bar. Rope. We don't need that. Probably. Well, let's take it. You, you never know. Maybe, maybe there will be a rope anchor. Fuel. It's definitely is different than standard interloper. I mean, I didn't do a normal interloper spawn though, but... I wouldn't say no to some clothing items. You like the wall to look here. No thanks. Oh god, it's... I don't know what's going on with that. It's, it's gonna take a while for me to get used to. But it's moving so slow. Uh, I think that's it, except for these two lockers. Warm in the day, so I might sleep a bit anyway. change the volume I feel like it's a bit loud also yeah it is this should I think this should be 
I have to check my own videos, but I think uh, this should be lower than that. I think. I'm not sure. We have, to, we have to experiment with it. Okay, we got some stuff. We can also make a row sip, I guess. Let's make another one. Uh, just uh, put on gunsmithing. <laughs> Do it. And uh, a couple sticks. Like that that should prob probably be enough. And then we're going to make this. And let's harvest this. Make some teas as well. I mean, sorry, not teas, tinder. Uh, I do kind of want to warm up some more. Let's use one of these books, this one. And we'll make our tea. Oh, also this. If you find the tea that's actually pre-made like this, you can level up cooking like this. I one more thing actually, I do need more I know, level up cooking. I do need more torches. I'll put a couple of books on and grab some torches. We only need quite a few actually. I think we need more than this. I think we need to use the book a bit more. Uh, I don't want to use the coal. Any torch will do. Alright. Then what I want to do is... grab There was some cloth here. This. Grab that. I don't have a sewing kit, I don't think. But... There is a, a way around that. Because I found the cured gut. And we have a workbench here. Oh, I missed this. Okay. Here, we can make the line. And then we can make a hook with the scrap metal we found. Then we can make, oops, we can make fishing tackles, which we can in turn use to make improvised head wraps and things. Let's do that to get ready. Uh, there's some more cloth to be found from here. Let's grab that. We could also potentially make a torch eventually. Okay, nice and light now. We're a bit cold, but how cold? Minus four, okay. Let's see, how long does it take? My fingers feel numb. To make this. One point, oh, we don't have that, one hour. 48 minutes. Let's sleep for one hour first. Oh, they've had a lot of ambient noises. Stay for one hour to warm up a little bit. Gosh, the noises are that cool. Okay, it's still cold, but we can't really do much about it. Um, still minus four. Oh, this stuff will matches. I didn't see them there. I'm glad I did, because we didn't have any way to light our torches. Um, this is a little bit awkward. Let's see, let me think, because I'm just not warm enough. I think I'm going to tank that and make this one. Yeah, so I get a little bit cold here, but it's alright. There we go. Okay, now I can make... I can put this on, 
We're still cold, but not as much. Sleep another hour. Uh, two. Let's sleep two hours. We're gonna starve ourselves. There's two hours. Warms us up a little bit. So cold. I would check that box up there, but I think it's not really worth it. Okay. Minus three still, but I think that's okay. Now let's make these the hand wraps. And then we are good. Never been so hungry in my life. Yeah, I'll again take some cold damage, but it's alright. There we go. Put that on there. There we go. Now it's just minus two. So again, we can sleep. And I think we're gonna have to... We might have to go in the night. Wait. I'm so cold. Warming up again. Might go now, though. Because we have the coal. Gosh, it's creaking. Yeah. Alright, I think that will do it. Should we go to Hunter's Lodge and things? Is the question. I'm tempted to say yes. We're gonna need to eat because we're gonna need uh there might be some clothing there. Let's do it. Let's do let's do that and maybe even the ravine. Let's get some gear before uh we do anything else. I'm gonna find gloves and hats online. But let's loot what we actually know first. Because I was fortunate there were matches there. If I hadn't found matches, it would have made this a bit tricky. I'm gonna take some cold damage here, but that's alright. Cattails. We'll probably use the starvation tactic this time. Because of, uh, I don't really know the resources, but we'll see. Maybe I could go for it. Of all of this. I might actually go up there and then wait to go to the area die for tomorrow just to make sure stones perfect nothing there I want some more stones uh, we can check the hunter's blind quick there's a deer carcass there and, and a bear hello bear just ignore me for now, please. I'm gonna get really cold soon. I don't think it's worth going for the. Don't think it's worth going for the. Um, the well fed because we don't really know the extent of it yet. Running away. <laughs> I guess that's because of this other wolf. You need this too. Uh, hello. We're gonna starve ourselves. We'll eat before we sleep. What is this? There's also. Oops. Let's check. What? Why is it uh, auto walk? That turned off too. There we are. But now we don't have frostbite risk, but we do have um, we do have hypothermia. The thing we're probably going to do is we're going to go. Uh, we might go into the ravine, maybe. Just to see what we can find there. Damn it. And then we'll so go hungry. to the new area. Let's get as, uh, as geared as we can before we go. Is this going to be a blizzard? I think it might be. It's interesting that they've changed a few things. So I still found matches. Which is great. Um, and they changed a few things. Like the jerrycans are usually always there. 
rifle casings as well. <laughs> right, let's grab this. Tempted to grab this meat here. Not too worried about the other stuff. The rabbits. Mm. Oh, it's a, it's a doe. The first doe, and it's dead. Oh, I just want to see how much is in there. Let's see what we got here. We got wood. Okay, then I might warm up this doll. Because we could use the... Oh, actually warm back here, wow. We could use the uh, the meat. Also, let's just see how much the dough has got on it. Let's do it. Let's, let's dough that. I want to save the coal for the journey, because it's supposed to be a very long journey. Alright, uh, let's put on the fur. It's very heavy. And then while we wait, uh, just make water. This should warm us up. Not by a lot, but it should still warm us up. Let's just wait a little bit like this. Get us healed. Let's harvest this. Alright, so this needs to be four a bit more. Uh, let's put on, you know, a couple more of these. Let's just quickly run around here a bit to see if there's more sticks. Hi, bunnies. Fresh the wolves up. Having a party, aren't they? Damn, I'm freezing. All right, how's it? 78, 72, sorry. And now 64. Yeah, do that. Don't think there's anything else. We can make bandage. Yeah, let's make bandages. Is it going to blow out my fire? It is. Just when it's about to fall, come on. Why? Okay. Let's see. Can we do like this? That will be good. One more time. You can do this. I would like the meat if I can. Come on. There we go. All right. All right. Let's put on this. Okay, 1.7 kilos, not a lot. But it's something. Alright, how was our first dough? Alright. 41 minutes. Now oh, that's bugged, look at that. Now, well, bound to be a few, uh, Bugs upon release. Oh wait, let's make another bandage. There we go. Don't think there's much more to do. I can grab some sticks and stones while I wait. They definitely changed a lot of the sounds in the game. Which is cool of course. Actually, let's... How long for this? 24. How long to grab this? 40. 
I just wonder if this gives a day hide or not. But let's do it. Does it give a day hide or a doe hide? I presume it gives a day hide. It gave a day hide from a day. Okay. Let's do that. And this. All right. Let's go. Uh, we might have to rest until morning to get enough energy to climb down into the ravine. So we can... Um... There's another carcass, I bet. Yeah. And we have moose markings as well. Great. Wow, that's the hitbox is all bugged. <laughs> to be fair, you know, it's a it's launch day. They're adding a whole bunch of new content. Some of it's bound to be buggy. Uh, let me see how many of these did I pick up? Five. So we need one more then. Let's grab one of these then. I think we'll harvest this there. We could, but we don't really need to. Alright, let's see. Is the moose out right now? The wolves are out. I don't see the moose. Another dead carcass. A lot of dead carcasses. We're not gonna go for that right now. Alright. Stone trick. Work. That's the same. Oh, this feels weird. Yeah. Yeah, There's definitely something up with the controls. Oh no, Barry! It killed Barry. Fire striker? the grinding noises there the sound effects are really loud like let's put this down to like 70 I don't know what's going on there all right let's have a quick look over here those hips Head feel thick. Rose hips. And more rose hips. Good for medicine, cooking, and warmth. Let's get inside before this blows out. Alright, let's see. Are we warm in here? We are warm. Barely, but we are. Cooking book. That'll come in handy. Lots of cloth. Uh, soup. Uh, we don't really need the cloth though. Matches. Hey. Nice. Hey, maple syrup. Excellent. I might be able to go for well fed actually now. But I don't think I will. We'll see though. Let's check upstairs. No, let's check downstairs first because we'll sleep upstairs. Okay. Is that? Oh, I thought it was a storm lantern, but no such luck. There should be a stim here, at least according to the uh, uh, the old loot tables. There should be a stim here in uh, Hunting Lodge, and if there is, that would be fantastic. But uh, they have changed some things, so we're gonna have to see. Oh wow, 
Bedroll. I think I can use this. That's gonna be handy. You can definitely use that, Will, because otherwise I would be dependent on finding a bed. Wherever that would be. I will take the book. If I can grab it. Turn the torch. I didn't see any change to the cooking system. I guess that's coming later. Uh, grab stuff. Hope Baseball hat. This if you Just what I need. I told you I'd find a hat. Not a very good one, but... Hey, there's a stim. Nice, we got a stim. So that's still there. I don't see anything here. It seems to be mostly minor loot stuff they changed. At least an interloper. Bed. Uh, under the bed. Oh, okay. And then here. Here. Yeah. Oh. Wait, it's not usually a first aid kit. Uh. Uh, I think it's time to douse this to the bed. I'm going to grab these first. Actually, what we can do first is try and repair something. Like this, for example. Before it gets too dark. I think I need to lay down. It's slightly warmer, which is a big help. Grab this. I think it's probably too dark to repair things now. But that's all right. Let's also grab these cloths over here. Now before I go to sleep, let me check something. Did they change anything in the inventory and whatnot? Or is it going to be the same? Uh, okay, I can't sleep there anyway. The light, here's the bed. Right. Okay, let's see. So this all looks the same. This looks the same. Uh yeah, we got poor Will. Uh here we got some stuff. Looks the same. Nothing else to craft, is there? Ah, improvised crampons. Cured leather, scrap metal, and a workbench. Okay. Good to know. We don't have those things. Um, I think that's about it. That's different. Yes. Okay, what about here? Cooking is the same. Take an airfield. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. Well, uh, before we go to bed, let's uh, craft some of this stuff. Doesn't matter if we wake up late, because the, the day is warmer the later in the day it is. So you're more likely to uh, get uh, warm being out. And the early game, it's good to be warm if we can. Okay, that's it. We need to now sleep. So we're going to do, we're going to eat the uh, meat. And we'll also eat uh, maybe this. Let's hope we don't get food poisoning from it. We need more water soon. Right, we're going to sleep 10 hours, I think. That should be enough. And we will regenerate quite a bit of... Oh, I should have actually drunk the tea, but well. We regenerated more health that way. So let's see what we got now. I want to sleep another two hours. Let's eat like two of these. We're going to starve ourselves. I don't trust that I have enough. Then we'll head down to the ravine with our rope. And we're like nearly full health now. And then we'll probably sleep a bit in the maintenance yard as well. Okay, so let's, we're going to head to the ravine like basin that's down there because you can find a stim there and coffee as well and there's a bunch of carcasses which we, we're not gonna go for 
Nice sunny day. Only we had a mag lens. There's the climbing area. Uh, I think the correct way was to go this way, if I remember correctly. I would prefer not taking full damage here. All I can think about is food. <laughs> yeah, well. There we go. Okay. We're cold, but acceptable. We're gonna get more cold though. But that's alright. Cave, I think this is possibly the bear cave. There. Yep. Hello. Don't mind me. In fact, you should ignore me completely. Because I'm gonna go away and plant this rope. I'd rather you weren't following me when I did. When I do. You just ignore me, Mr. Bear. I'm... I'm nothing. Now we're gonna check down here because you have a stim down here. Uh, you can get coffee. There's deer carcasses, which I think we'll ignore. Okay. Another... a revolver cartridge. Another revolver cartridge. So we have bullets as well now. Not just casings. You see how they're invisible? But not in here, though. But that they're invisible would suggest uh, that it's not intended. Let's go. Okay, we're barely cold now. I think we can probably get back up here without using a stim. But we'll have to see. the wind coming from or that way okay. we're not gonna harvest this I might grab the wood though uh, uh, ravish wolf carcass and there should be a corpse here somewhere over here Cold. Cattails, more wood. There's the guy. And the other stim. Alright. That's the same, so that's not changed. Sewing kit, uh, sewing primer. Flesh, flare shell. Wow. Surely these are not intended. You, you, in, in the past, you could you could never find flare shells on Intelo, but it didn't happen. I might have to make a fire here, actually. Uh, just to not take too much damage, so I might actually do that. Uh, oh, damn, I used the master. I forgot that you have to hold it. Uh, because... Uh, I don't want to take too much cold damage. So I can just fall this. I need some more water anyway. Come on, come on. Let's just do that. And we got quite a lot of wood here. So we can put on here. Because it weighs a lot, the fur. Put that on there. Make some water. There we go. Warm up a bit and make some more water. And then we grab this, this, grab a torch. And this is continue looting just to avoid taking too much damage. Okay, while well, it's falling the deer, let's check out down here because down here you can find uh, the supply bin. And normally an interloper here. 
you can find coffee and you can sometimes find a fire striker as well let's see what we got here that yes it is it didn't look like it was a cattail but it is two of them uh, this is the first time I've ever actually spawned in Broken Railroad because an interloper but uh, Broken Railroad is not one of the spawn locations when you do a interloper spawn a random one uh, there are certain regions you cannot spawn in Mystery Lake um, Mountain Town uh, Broken Railroad, Bleak Inlet, and Coastal Highway. I think, I think that's it. There's the supply bin. Wood. Food. And let's see what we got. Someone Coffee. Stashed. Excellent. That, that don't make any torch for that. Okay. We got the coffee. We didn't get the uh, fire striker. But we did get everything else. The fire striker actually is probably... Can't feel my feet. If, if it's still here in this loot table. It's probably actually... And the trucks by maintenance yard. I might need to check that out. Because you can usually find a fire striker in this uh, in this region. They may have changed it, of course. How's this? Five minutes? This is okay that make water how is this all right nice this looks different look at that it looks uh, like uh, diseased fifty seven minutes uh oh no um Oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Well, let's do this. And I'll cook it up there. Grab that, grab that, grab that. Let's go. If necessary, I'll use a stem to get out of this blizzard. I want these. Rather not use the steam if I can avoid it. But I might have to. How heavy am I? 27. But close to too heavy. I might have to use a steam here. We'll, we'll see. Drink and uh, drop that. Cold. We don't really need this. I'm not sure why I kept it on me. Come on, go. I've made coffee now. This is a long climb as well. We need to take a break on this ledge. Let's see if we get heavy or not. The ledge. How heavy are we? We are just under. Alright. Look at this. What is that? <laughs> Okay. 
Wait for this to recharge. We don't really have a choice. We'll, we'll sleep again in the broken railroad, like in the maintenance yard, and we'll drink the herbal tea this time. To regenerate. And we'll also uh, light the fire when we get there, use another match to cook that meat. Let's go. Tired, I know. But you can do it. Come on. You can do it. Save the stim. Come on, come on. Almost there, almost there. All right. I just, okay, I just want to make sure I was actually recording. All right. We can, we have to walk there in the blizzard tree much because this is not going to allow for much sprinting. Let's quickly see if there's a corpse here. Sometimes there's another corpse around here. Does not seem like, okay, that was the end of sprinting. Yeah, we're gonna sleep in the maintenance yard. Just gotta get there first. Not too hard to find. You just follow the the water. Okay, getting used to the clunky controls now. Should be up here. Alright, so we didn't get cooked, it, but you see, even when a, the storm blows out the fire, it takes at least 10 minutes for the fire to actually die out. And because um, because it was 15 minutes to harvest the the food, I thought, well, I'd rather use those 15 minutes to, to grab the food and then go from there uh, because then I get another piece of meat that I can eat. Let's get inside here. We're losing a lot of health in this. So I think we'll regenerate most of it. We're gonna make a fire here to uh, cook this meat and also get even more water if we can. All right. Why was there a wolf howl there? Okay, minus two, that should, uh, should change. All right, let's do this. Uh, see the shore, use, use that. We have accelerant if necessary. Come on. Come on. All right. Looks like it worked. It did indeed work. Put this down, and we need even more water. How's this? And while that's happening, we'll do some uh, over this. Okay, boiled. Make some of that. Take that. Cook this. And how long to repair like this? Oh, this is pointless to repair though. How about this? 48 minutes and this an hour 36 wow okay not much to repair really is there anything else that needs doing inventory wise i guess now we can read i suppose this we can drop yeah we got uh, we can use this Put 
that on. Harvest this as well. Get some tinder plugs. Okay, we'll do one more. Harvest this too. anything we can smash this but I'd rather not do it I suppose we could though um, a bit tricky to say okay, put this on as well grab a torch and another torch there we go take that 13 minutes to boiled I think that's good enough, to be honest. Okay, let's also just uh, pass some time here. I'm gonna take the charcoal, there we are, so I can do some mapping. Okay, let's, uh, let's sleep. Minus two, yeah. Let's see if I can maybe, uh, the 50%, let's, let's give it a try. We'll go up like half a degree or something. One more, one more time. One. Okay, there we are. Yes, yeah, so went went up, uh, went up a little bit. You know, everything helps. Everything helps. Okay, now we're going to sleep. We're gonna eat. Uh, let's eat this. And let's eat. I'm gonna risk eating. My fingers feel numb. This. Don't give me food poisoning, please. If so, I would have to make the Raishi mushroom. And let's drink this, which will increase our health regeneration. And then we'll drink that. And then we sleep for 10 hours. We get warm, we heal, we get uh, ready to go. And there we go. Look at that, we healed up a lot. Gonna sleep some more though. So let's eat. Uh, look how they changed they change the texture of this. <laughs> I could eat anything. Let's eat right this. Now. See how much water we go through so fast. Sleep another two hours. We'll put three, but it's not gonna be three. Then it's gonna be cold out, but that's okay. We just want to see what it's like out there. I think we might as well just go. We're not we're just waiting around here if, if, if we stay. There's nothing really happening. I need to find food. Am I like blind or something? There we are. I'm gonna take this route out here. Uh, on the left, if I can find it. Can't find it. Okay, fine. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Why am I struggling? I know it's dark, but still. Okay, let's go out here. And go into this little looting area on the left there. And also check this. We can find fire strikers in these trucks. Gloves. Of course there's gloves. Right. Thank goodness. Uh, Made it through another night. We're going to loot what's in here. Then probably go back inside. Sleep an hour. To warm back up. And then we'll leave. It won't be as cold as well. Alright, so we'll take it. Gotta be something useful in here. Painkillers. Wow, another hat. Is it better? It's not better. But it's probably better than this though. Yeah, it is. More driving gloves. Alright, good. Now let's check. Uh, oh, no. Wow, this is new. This never used to be there. I'm gonna 
gonna do something silly now. <laughs> I just wanted to see if there was a fire striker here. Which there wasn't. Not sure what's going on with that. Then I guess they may have changed that. Uh... Okay, we're gonna sleep another hour just to warm up a bit because we're too cold. So let's, uh, again, I don't want to lose any house, so we'll, we'll eat like that, I guess. Uh, drink. And sleep. It won't warm us up all the way, but... It's actually a shame that we're not fully warm, but... Oh well. We're going to just start a fire at some point uh, on the way there, probably by the bridge. And then I'll warm up some teas and whatnot. Then we'll be good. Okay, where's the wolf? I checked this car, didn't I? I think I did. I did not. Let's check in here. Nothing. We're gonna get cold very soon. We're gonna run. I'm still gonna use starvation tactic for now. But if I find more food, I probably will switch to well fed. Okay, here we go. Cold is making my head feel thick. <laughs> All right, let's get to the bridge. All right, new region hype. So it took me like an hour to actually even start this, but I'm glad I did because if I I thought I, I could spawn in the new region and just see, like going straight away, but I guess not. Uh, instead, we're gonna have to do it this way, but uh, that's okay. I'm gonna go a little bit further before I start the fire. God damn freezing. Well, maybe we should just do it here. This area, very good cover if something happens. I believe I checked in here, didn't I? No, I didn't. Ah, so they can. On the seat. Let's do it here, because here we have pretty good... Pretty good cover. Too windy to start a fire. Really? Can I make a fire in here? I don't think so. Oh, wow, you can. Uh, okay, well, that's what we're doing then. Never knew you could do that. Well, I never really had the need to, but that's interesting. And then here we're going to uh, make some teas and whatnot, warm up a bit, and then use all, all come we on. can. Come on. Oh, come on. We'll use one of our coals here. So that we can speed up the warming process. Come on. Can you eat trees? Can you eat trees? That's what Astrid says, Will. Why are you saying that? It worked. It worked. Alright. So, let's see. Uh, let's make a coffee. And then let's put this down. Use our little exploit for that. This should warm us up quite a bit. We're actually only plus seven degrees. Hmm. Okay, put some more of these on then. Oh yeah. Put another one of these. Uh, do one of these actually. Let's make a water. By right clicking for the exploit. Okay, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna grab some torches. It also is a uh, clear weather. So let's take advantage of that. Let's go. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Into the uh, travel zone. The transfer pass, I think it's called. So 
So this used to be impossible, but now we have this. Ah, cool. Hey, the stuff here. Oh, it can be stuff there. <laughs> All right, this is awesome. First new region since uh, Blackrock. Which was a story. Oh, I've heard one of these. Which was a story area, really. Um, well, um, well, the last kind of like open in the world and survival map they added was um, Ash Canyon. That's two years ago. Grab things for warmth. You know, if the transfer pass is where I think it is, then you have the uh, backpack there. Let's grab the sticks. All right, here we go. This is probably the exit. Yeah, it is. Let's go. All right, new area, far range branch line region. Awesome. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, this might be the picture of the Wraith posted. I'm oh, barely even cold here. And it's full. I drink a tea then, actually, to speed this up. Now I'm gonna drink this. Because that's going to allow me to uh, warm up a bit like that. And now it's only, uh, it should also reduce this one. Okay, well, fine. So this is the, uh, the new railroad line. And I'm cold, but barely cold, so this is great. Let's see where this leads. Maybe it leads out of the uh, the tunnel that was in a picture. So I'm going in this completely blind, I have no clue. But obviously I've seen the trailer, I've seen the screenshots, so I have a vague idea of like what some of the area looks like from the previews that they showed, um, but it, uh, it doesn't tell me where anything is or what loot there is to find or anything. Hey, a backpack. Sounds like it's windy out there. Oh, hello. Is there any other like that? I didn't see anything. Okay. It looked like you could go here. I guess not. Alright. So they did say there was meant to be a, a real journey, like a proper trek, to actually get there. So it's meant to be quite long, like really long. Uh, longer than a ravine. I don't know if that's this region or the transfer pass, but I was under the impression that if you picture the ravine, uh, <coughs> like you should at least double that, if not triple that. Okay, anything here? No. Restricted area. Oh, it's a shame. I guess we'll turn back then. <laughs> so hungry. I got the old lighting glitch there. I think that's just because the torch light changes. Emergency exit this way. All right. Oh, torch. That'll come in. A hundred percent torch. Hey, we got a little room. Do this order. That's just a lot of ambient noises. I, I want to double check the by recording this stuff. Um. I wonder who owns this stuff. All right. Who owns this stuff here? Good question. Nothing really here. No. Okay. Onwards we go. I'm not going to run if I can avoid it. So that I won't get too tired. I'll drink a coffee if necessary. Maybe this is the... Yeah, that's from the trailer. We're going to check out here first. Where's this lead? Oh, 
our door you have to force open. How about that? Good thing I have a pry bar. Right, now we're here. Oh, wow. Oh, which way do we go? <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's interesting that this had to be forced open, though. I would suggest that's not the way to go. But let's check what's down here, then. Because that is interesting, isn't it? This is a long travel zone. What's down here? Exit, it says. All right. Okay. Ah. So what's up there then? It's just like a different crossing. Yes, you can clearly go down. Okay, we will do that later because this door up here was locked. But we're gonna check out this area first. I'm guessing this leads to like the end of the line. Um, I like the end of the bridge rather. And that's it. Interesting and dark. Might as well use the good torch. Actually, no, let's use the bad torch. Reduces carry weight faster that way. If you're using the bad torches, think of it as like three or four bad torches. It's the same as a good torch, but they weigh three or four times as much. Okay, we're not really getting cold, which is great. Okay, this is also this uh, this image from the trailer. Ah, see, so here's a rope anchor. So it's like a shortcut down, I bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you attach a rope and you climb down. And it's slightly faster. I guess. Uh, I assume that's the idea at least. Surfate trestle. Or surfay trestle. Uh, that doesn't look particularly goatable, but we'll see. Is there a little overview of the area here. Any like caves or anything? I don't see anything. What are we going here? Uh, can I? Oh, you can. Hey! Right, shell. Put that on right away. Uh, anything else? We got a rope. We do have a rope. This pack is getting kind of I mean, heavy. we might as well attach it in that case. We got mushrooms. We'll take those. It's starting to get windy. Very windy. Might actually st make a little fire, I guess. Okay, yeah, that's better. Uh, let's, oh. let's use the good torch now because then I can burn while we attach this. I think, though, that this is just a shorter way down. Yeah, it, it looks like it. Like, this is not a required route. It's just a different way of getting down. But, you know, might as well try it out. We need to find some place to escape this cold. Yeah, I saw a doe. So I did see in the trailer a video thing that they are reducing the amount of deer, like the bucks. It's mostly gonna be doe around. Hello. Doe! All right, so yeah, we come down there. So there's two climbing paths right there. And I don't see anything else. Yeah, so it seems like that is literally just a different route down. Or an alternative way up, whichever way you want to think about it. Okay. Let's start running now because now we're getting cold. We we'll used a good torch. Let's see if we can find a cave or something. There were some mushrooms there that I didn't pick up, but oh well. If I find another deer carcass, I'll probably switch to well fed. Anything up here? 
<laughs> Didn't seem like it. Okay. Bunnies. Uh, I don't think we'll go for the bunnies. All right. And here we have a cave. Is this a transition cave or what is this? This looks like a transition cave to me. Yep. All right, let's see what we got. Late Layers Shortcut. That's a cool name. Presumably like, you know, when they built the railroad. I'm picking up all the sticks. Sticks are your friend. Friends. Coal. Fantastic. Doesn't matter if I get heavy. I haven't found much in the backpack so far. Might have to sleep at some point, but I'm a bit reluctant to let the fire burn out. We'll see how the weather works. Might light a fire and drink a coffee instead. This is fun, exploring something new. So far it is a bit of a trek, but not terribly long. Atrium. Okay. Wow. So there's two paths down there and then there's one here. Okay. Let's have a look at this then. What is this? Where does this lead? Does this actually lead out somewhere? This is a... Interesting. It does lead out somewhere. Let's see where this leads. What area is this? Is this the same place or is it somewhere else? This is the far range branch line, okay. Let's uh, make a little fire here to warm up and also make a coffee and I want a map as well. And we'll go back in and see, it might be that this is the way out and that down there was just like some places you could loot, but I don't know, we'll have to check. We're cold but not super cold, let's put some sticks on rather than the cold. Put that on, uh, and how much water do I have? Uh, some. Douse this. And let's do this. Right. Let's have a look up here quick. Hey, new music. Kind of scary music. This is the line then. Right, this is the other side. I, I bet you that if I go up here, you end up where the rope is. I bet you found the track. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know question is if you can bypass that. <laughs> okay, good to know. Does this lead somewhere though? I'm guessing it does. I can't feel my feet. We need to go back inside. Check out that area. I'm probably going to have a coffee. So let's see here. Let's make a coffee. drink it the coffee as well and then because I'm I don't think the stuff down there is going to lead anywhere I'm going to put this and check it out and if it does lead somewhere we're all just gonna have to come back so we got half an hour now basically oh, I didn't see this 
But let's see if we can check out this atrium that's down here. If there's any loot. The water burns, it's not a big deal. But I do need that can though. <laughs> Unless I find a can opener. So let's see what we got here. Like dripping noises, interesting. Uh, oh, I see. It doesn't even go down here. You have to climb. You have to jump down. Ah, interesting. Where can you... I don't really want to jump down, though, because I'm not sure what the way up is. I see. Hey, well, that's interesting. We'll figure that out later. Then. Maybe on the way back, or maybe it's a different cave somewhere. Or... Who knows? If it is like where we have to go, then it makes it easy for the future. You can just hop down there. Okay, well that's interesting. Then let's just warm up and um, and keep moving. Let's keep moving. We could sleep here, but it's not late enough. And at the moment, uh, oh, oops, hold on. at the moment it's quite warm out. Wow, famous last words. I think I'd rather wait out this blizzard, yeah. We can uh, we can go while, uh, while it's night, or night-ish. Let's sleep here. Let's uh, eat something though. I don't want to sleep while I'm hungry. Let's sleep two hours. See if it passes. <clears throat> this is 10 to last four hours. Let's sleep another hour. I don't see the point in continuing if it's out there. I think it's still going. It, it kind of died down, but I think it's still going. I could eat a horse. Yep. Alright. Let's see if we can sleep one more hour then. That would be good if this could. Um, lie down. It doesn't seem like it though. We can wait a little bit more, but if it gets too dark, it's, uh, it's a little risky. Okay, well, while that's happening, let's do this instead. Uh, it does sound like it's getting dark let's just make this where can I find something to eat while we wait by long blizzard I, I'm not I'm not going out in the blizzard unless I know where I'm going and it's still going Alright, well, while we wait then, let's, can we repair something of note? I guess we could repair these. They don't really give anything, but so they don't break. Can't repair while in the dark. Hang on. But too awake to sleep. You can't read while it's in the dark either, so. It's a long, long blizzard. Still going. I think it maybe has passed. Kinda passed. Let's uh let's go a bit forward. <clears throat> see what we see. And necessarily I'll go back. Because it might lead us back into the cave. Maybe. Um. Right, let's let's push forward a bit more. Can't see as much though. Is the only thing. 
because I don't really know where the next shelter will be. But uh, we'll give it a try. See who there's. I don't see any. Okay, we got another bridge here. That does not look traversable. <coughs> I hear wolves. Steely chasm, okay. Oh wait, the train cart. I wonder if we can go inside it. I would do anything for a drink right now. I heard a wolf. I don't see any wolves. I think that's a cave up there. We'll check out this later. Yeah, it's a cave. Alright. Anything here? A remnant cave. Okay. Can I map this? Nah, I didn't think so. Alright, we need to wait this out. Uh, I'll call. Okay, we can sleep here, but only an hour at a time. It's way too risky otherwise. So we can sleep here for one hour and it warms us up, but barely. It just barely warms us up. And now it doesn't warm us up. Unless I make a fire. I guess I could make a fire. Uh, maybe we should, because we don't really know where we're going. And we need to be prepared. So I think we do have quite a lot of sticks and things. Let's let's make a fire. It will allow us to sleep, recover quite a bit. But let's do it. Actually, no, let's put it, let's put it here. Uh, yes, and we'll put wherever it burns long. We won't use the coal, we'll use sticks and things. I we'll use it to sleep as long as we can, really. Okay, turned out pretty well. Yeah, it did yeah. Put that on that, and then as much of this as we can. That's what this is for, really. Okay, five hours we can sleep. That will that will do. <laughs> uh, let's eat this. And drink this. Ah, oh, that was not really necessary, I guess. Oh well. Five hours. Get a little bit of health back. Some energy back. Wind might die out. Let's have a look at the fire as well. Yes, yeah, so that's about to die out. Uh, water situation, not great. Uh, but let's... Eat anything. Let's make a coffee. Sounds like it might be windy, so just in case it is, put a stick on here. Because then uh, I can come back in here. Oh, there was more wood there. Let's see if it's too windy or not. Right. This seems okay, actually. I wonder how you get to the bottom of that cave. I'm gonna have to explore that some other time. Let's see what we got in here. Nothing. In here, can I check this? No. Oh, it's the end of the line. <laughs> the line ends. Okay. Oh no, it doesn't. <laughs> it's just like one of those depot things. Let's run. There was a wolf. I heard a, I heard a wolf. So we gotta be a little bit careful. So far it's been wolf free. I heard a howl. We gotta be a bit careful. I'm gonna need to eat soon. 
Yes, about that. <laughs> you might have to starve us yourself a bit, Will. Alright. Ah, here's that image from the trailer. Now you have the... This is the f this is actually the first picture ever posted uh, from this uh, expansion. A uh, picture that Rafe tweeted, something like this. And it's called Freight Hoppers Rockfall. All right. Didn't actually check if there's anything on the outside here, but I oh. don't really see anything. But <clears throat> and there's more of this. <laughs> It it is it is a bit of a journey. I will admit, yeah. This is a bit of a hike. Do, 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 do. Cool though. Very very cool. This is a bit like um, like Keeper's Pass is quite decent in size for a transition zone, for two transition zones. This feels a bit like that, but more elaborate. Let's uh, try to avoid running if we can. Minus five, okay. Yeah, it's quite, a, quite the journey. In a way, I kind of like you can't spawn in Forsaken Airfield. You're forced to actually go there. So it'd be like a reward. I kind of like that. It might change it in the future. Or maybe they keep it like this. While you... Um, while you are... Um, what should we call it? While you are on the campaign. And then they change it later. I don't know. We'll see. not checking every nook and cranny. I'm not going to go around and be one of those people who's like, oh, let's check. Oh, maybe there's something there. Maybe they hid something uh, behind here, you know. That very rarely happens. It does happen that they put, like, a drink in the snow or something like that. I mean, the two most... Uh, the two best examples are, like, in Ash Canyon, where you have to look behind a corner twice after passing it, which is the where you can find the bear coat and the stem. My fingers feel so that's... Uh, hey... So that's uh there are cases where it does happen, but transfer pass, okay. So we did the travel region, now we're at transfer pass, which I think is the connector region that leads to the three other areas. But at the moment it only leads to to a second airfield. Alright, new music. Let's see, we got icy structures ahead, kind of. Getting cold again. I have a suspicion there's going to be Timberwolves. These tempered flat cars. Yeah, it seems to have had some sort of accident. Hey, I recognize this from the trailer as well. That's the oak tree. The first oak tree I've ever seen. Let's see what we got there. There was a path up there, but I'll wait. Start with that. Acorns? Hmm. Acorns? <laughs> see any acorns. Would be cool though. But I want to check it. I saw something here. There was a passage up here. Die if I up here. Some food soon. Let's see what we got up here. And we need to make a fire soon. Let's see if we can find something to make a fire next to. But that was not much to it. Rabbits, uh, seems to be something up here. Is that anything? Is that a little, yeah, it's a little cave up there. Let's check that out and make a fire to warm up. It is quite, 
It's quite the trek to Forsaken Airfield. <laughs> okay. I could grab rabbits to ensure I have well fed, but I think I'll pass on that. So we got feed, water, cave. Are we warm here? Hey, a rabbit. This stuff will come in handy. Okay. Let's make a fire. We'll warm up and we can also harvest this rabbit. Might as well. You have to treat this as like a soft Nogoa. It worked. Uh, coal. I guess we put one piece of coal on. Why not? All right. While we warm up, let's uh, put water and let's harvest this guy. Oh wow! They changed that. <laughs> That's interesting. So it gives it a bit of a better design. Wow, that does look really different. Makes kind of sense though that it would look like that. Uh, do we need this? I guess we don't. At least not now. Five. Let's make this. Alright, uh, we are warm, so I should maybe just continue. Let's just, uh, let's do this. <clears throat> Alright, that's cooked. Let's cook this as well. 12 minutes, in which case let's make a tea. this. Actually, give me one second. Alright. Yeah, let's go. Let's put one stick on here. Take that. Grab this. Grab that. Grab that. Oh, it's a one minute. Oh, well. I'll just have to be. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, so we're at the hub now. I guess this is what's called the hub. Rounds of pass. But, uh... I'm not sure where to go. Well, I think we just follow the line, I suppose. Oh, look at this. Minus six only. It's like a luck tree. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can find. <clears throat> and I'm curious about these uh, oaks. Like, do they give anything? Like, can I interact with them? Doesn't seem like it. Can you knock things down? Like, acorns or something? That was a bit of a, a, bit of a weird throw right there. <laughs> I guess not. Um, this looks like fur limb. Yeah. Oh, I'll keep looking for stuff. Rabbits. Something over here. I'm definitely going to explore a bit of this. Eventually we'll get to, presumably... The hub that's on the trailer, the little like uh, train station. But let's look around as well. More mushrooms. I think we'll take whatever we can at this point because it will help with the cold. I haven't seen any wolves so far. I did hear one though. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, I should have made more torches. Right, this looks like it's definitely traversable down there. If so, it's a massive region. Um, 
Go figure that out. I might drink a coffee in a little bit. Cattails? Yeah, cattails. Let's get them. Wide open space, this thing. A bit like, uh... I don't know. Pleasant Valley meets... Bull and Muskeg. <laughs> uh, you kind of... Worried that you miss something? Oh, here we are. Here's uh, the help. But um, it's a bit like Fallen Musk. Like in Fallen Musk, that you have certain landmarks, there's places to go to find things. But for the most part, you're not really going to miss out because it's mostly just marsh, loitering marsh, and a bunch of cattails, of course. Let's actually see. Are they hot? Yeah. I'm gonna drink a coffee. A little bit warmer that way, and uh, don't have to worry about it. I can walk. I might go for well fed now when we sleep next because I got quite a bit of food now. I'll go and check out the hub in a sec. I mean, this is the hub, but you know what I mean the, the connection point. I'm not picking up all the heads, because I got quite a f bit of tinder. Hey look at this, it's like a... What is this? Like a highway? I guess that's a highway, yeah. Okay. More cattails. Let's light the torch. We'll probably light the fire. Over here. Going <sighs> some water. Okay. And we have the more cattle, so we can leave that for now. Let's see what we got in here. Alright, so this is the place from the trailer. Check out this tower first. Vacant Depot. Okay, so it's the depot. We'll just call it then. This is the depot. Anything here? Oh wow, you can actually break down these barrels. That's cool, that's new. I didn't used to have barrels. Some starvation. You're not gonna die, Will. Don't let that happen. <laughs> Let's check this area out. Batteries. <laughs> uh, we'll check the vices as well, now that we can find... I don't know if I did that for all the cars in Broken Railroad, actually. Could end up being More driving down. gloves, wow. Okay, anything here? to get more torches because this is burning out. Well, let's just quickly check in here. Nothing. Oh. Alright. Uh, a fire pit or some such here. Maybe in here? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's small. Oh, well, you know. Fire's a fire. Ah, oh, come on. Well, that didn't work. I'll try again. That's a nice little fire pit. <laughs> we'll check the area out after. Oh, come on. I don't want this to burn out. If this fails too, I have to use the accelerant, I think. Come 
on, little fire. Come on. And of course. Okay, well, let's do this then. I'm going to have to use the match. There we go. Turned out pretty well. Put that on. This too. Water, we have some. Uh, we have two cooking slots. Nice. Uh, grab the tinder here. Right, let's start looting this place. I can use hey, antibiotics, nice. Let's actually map. Alright. Cool. Um, let's look around, let's grab a torch. Oh, I forgot to put water in there, whoops. Cool scarf. Nice, that's probably better than this. Uh, not right now, but... Take these suitcases. Suitcases are great for clothing. Yeah, wool socks. Perfect. A ticket booth or whatever. In here. Toilets might have toilet water in here. Yeah. Get the toilet water. I don't see anything else in here. I think this is where you could find the rifle in lower difficulties, isn't it? Which, of course, isn't an interloper. What else is there here? The door, the door closed behind me. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> well, we can check the area out a little bit. While... Um, I wonder if you can go up here. While the water's boiling. We got some coal. That's great. These don't seem to be anything. Okay, let's see if we can get up here. Can I go up this way? I don't think so. What about up here? I don't think so either. Eh, maybe you can. Or at least it's not intended. But you can. <laughs> That's the road. And that goes up there. Probably connects to one of the regions. We have another car. Here we go. I don't think the water will have boiled yet. Take it out. What we got here then? Ah, it's a little, little refuge. With nothing in it. I wonder if there's good loot on the lower difficulties. Because here yeah, there's nothing really. Cool though, a yeah, cool design. Yeah, there's like literally nothing here. Hmm. Unless there's something in the boxes. No. Oh, I'll check this out on lower difficulties. Maybe in the raw, it'd be look really cool. These self-closing doors. Right, let's grab some more torches. Hey, look at that, the fire's coming out of it now. I think for now we'll follow the railway line. We'll go uh, along the road later. Okay. We need some torches. We need quite a few torches, actually, so let's just... Put uh, put some oh, uh, this on. The two ruined torches as well. Actually, let's just while we warm up, harvest these. I should really burn the revolver book as well. It doesn't really achieve anything.
Okay, let's grab torch. Oh wow, a terrible torch, but I guess we'll take it at this stage in the game. Oh, they added new uh, wall art. This one's old, but these are new. Yeah, let's do that too. And let's grab one more. And okay, we can do another one actually. Terrible torch, but it's okay. Okay, let's uh, keep going. Let's follow the tracks. So in the trailer, there was actually a technical backpack here at this depot. Not so this time, though. But in a way, if that's if that's true that they're not adding it here, uh, that will be good because it would remove the whole point of Ash Canyon. There's an Ash Canyon. You have a technical backpack and the crampons. And okay, fine. They're adding the improvised crampons, but you still have the backpack there, which will make it a unique loot to be found. So why not do that? Uh, if they added on lower difficulties, then okay, that's a bit different. But... All right, let's see. Uh, this does seem to be a dead end. This is probably going to open later. I bet you that when Industrial Mine comes out, this path will be open and it will lead there. And Mountain Pass will be somewhere else. Doesn't look like you can traverse this, can you? No. Immutable hesitation. Well, <laughs> we can go here though. Let's just have a look at this. Doesn't look like you can continue though. here. Now this just leads back. It's like an invisible wall basically. Yeah, you're not meant to go there. But I bet you this opens up. This is going to be one of the paths to like industrial mine or some such. I bet you that's what, what it is. So this is like a small connector. This, this so far looks like a small connector region. So transfer paths branch line. So this is called transfer paths. The almost far range branch line. So, okay, so the branch line was pretty long. That was quite a journey, actually. But the transfer path seems to be like a... Just a open flat connector region. A bit like... What's the closest to this? Like Winding River. But a bit flat and bigger. Like half a broken railroad type of thing. <coughs> I think we're going to go for well fed now. So let's see. Um, I guess we'll follow this path. It's more cattails, but how many cattle? Yeah, let's let's grab them. We need the food. Or rather, we want the food. We'll take this path first and see where it leads. It seems to be kind of three paths. One was where we just were. And then there's this one on my right, and then there's one ahead as well. And now, since there's only really one region to go to, I don't think there's going to be any more places to explore. And now we got down to that area I saw. <laughs> I wonder where that uh, led in that cave. Oh well. Right, does this lead anywhere? We can just walk it because we are warm ish and we are not too tired. This will probably lead to the Forsaken Airfield, or it will lead to what will eventually be the Mountain Pass. It's smart of them to add a connector region like this. One region that connects to all the new areas, and then as they add the areas, they just open up one of the closed paths. So let's see where this leads. If it leads to Forsaken Airfield, I'll go there. Oh, it 
got uh, foggy all of a sudden. For fog's sake. <laughs> now I can't see. Oh, this looks like it might lead somewhere. Hey, rabbits. How are you doing? Okay, we found a tunnel. Maybe the way out. Trying to preserve this match. What's that up there, I wonder? Can I go through here? It looks like it's blocked. I don't think you're meant to go through here. This is probably going to be Mountain Pass, I think. Uh, hello? Thank you. Nah, it won't let me pass. This is probably going to be Mountain Pass, the entrance to Mountain Pass later. Let's see what's up here, if anything. Okay, then we have one option left, I think. We'll see what that's about. Uh, this is just a little plateau, it seems. The goating begin. <laughs> but can't go up there. Oh. Yeah, this seems like a great idea, right? <laughs> no point really doing that at the moment, especially when I can't really see where I'm going and what I'm heading to. Just having a little look, really. Alright, so we found two dead ends that uh, presumably leads to the new areas that have not been released yet. Presumably. I'm making this a bit harder than it used to be. Okay, so let's see here. Let's hug the walls, basically. I find caves or something. It looked like you can go down to that basin as well. I don't know if you can. You can't do mapping here because it's too. Uh, too foggy. Okay. This does seem like a relatively small region. It does appear to be pretty much just a depot and then uh, the the connectors to to the other regions. And then like there's a cave. And now uh, that's about it. I have not seen any like acorns or anything. Bro. Hmm. Maybe they haven't added acorns yet. Maybe. But this one presumably then is the third exit that leads to uh, Forsaken Airfield. If acorns, by the way, are rare, that's fine too, because uh, when I played uh, Northern Lights, one of the things in that game was that there was way too much food. Particularly, even though I jumped into the highest difficulty of Northern Lights. Uh, that's a survival game, by the way, if you're not sure what it is. It's like a uh, like green hell, but in winter, that I was asked to play, which I did. Right, I think I saw something there. And even on the hardest difficulty, I'd never played the game before. Hop hopped into it blind, played the hardest difficulty. And it was just such an abundance of like eggs and nuts and things. It was just extremely easy. But if there are icons that they didn't really say in the in the announcement video, they explained they added the dough and of course uh, the electrostatic fog, the glimmer fog, and they mentioned a couple other things, but they didn't really say explicitly what else was changed. They didn't say what mechanics they implemented or changed. 
or anything like that. So we don't really know. Okay, we're left. This is probably Forsaken Airfield. Yes. Forsaken Airfield. But it's in it's in the fog though. <laughs> so we're gonna have to see what we can do. I wouldn't mind mapping the exit. But I can't because it's foggy. And the fog is gonna last a couple of hours at least. That's right. We'll find somewhere to get shelter, if nothing else, and see what we can do. See what tools we can find here, if anything, or variants. <laughs> I wouldn't mind getting the uh, storm lantern. So the the Warns rifle they talked about in the video and that they had announced before, which I presume doesn't spawn on this difficulty. It's basically a hunting rifle that uh, uh, weighs less, but I think it did less damage as well. While the hunting bow, ooh, did more damage but weighed more. New music. Very cool. I wish I could see more, but. Uh, Oh, the challenge though, going around the fog in a new area you've never been to before. Isn't that interesting? Let's have a little bit of water here. Okay. So I have a vague idea of obviously the airfield's in the middle. It's meant to be a large open space for the most part. So it's something. The impression I got was kind of like, it shouldn't be that hard to figure out where you are and where to go, but it is hard to actually get there. I kind of picture it a bit like Coastal Highway. Coastal Highway, the most of Coastal Highway is this large open space. They compared it more to Pleasant Valley, I guess it's kind of the same, but it's just a large open space in the middle. And then you have... Um, uh, like things and like some terrain on the sides. Yeah, it was a bit of a track to get there, I must say. Not not terrible though. I mean, it took me about an hour or something, and that's for the first time. I spent like an hour setting up the run um, with the broken railroad, and then I left. And of course, I'd never been there before. I think it would take about half an hour if I knew where to go. I wonder if they've added the cougar or ptarmigan or what, I don't know. Well, we do know they added the doe, as you have seen. <laughs> but no, I don't really know what they've added, they didn't really say. Okay, burning out. This is a long path, actually. A really long path. There's a good part about being out in the late day like this, late afternoon. Uh, and it's still is that I'm not really cold. Like it's minus one. That's because it's so early in the game, even with this really bad equipment I have, it is not particularly good. Um, it's early in the game and it's still, uh, so therefore it's fairly warm. Gosh, this is a quite a long walk. In a way, it doesn't matter that it's foggy here. Can't see anything anyway. Alright, is this a fork in the road or just like a dent? Okay. Maybe this is glimmer fog. <laughs> now to see what happens. I'm getting insomnia. Alright. Uh, I need to start thinking about shelter soon. Oh wow. That's unexpected. Interesting. Must take them a while to make these uh, worlds. Maps. Wheelie's turn. Someone uh, crashed, is that what you're saying? Oh, I wish I could see that actually. Okay. 
kind of see the bo bottom. I need to make more torches soon. Sounds like it's kind of picking up the wind though. Hmm. I'm heavy by I want to pick up all the stuff I can in terms of fuel and that in case I need to sleep by a fire getting kind of thirsty there wasn't a bed was there in the depot it was just the benches so if you don't if you come here without the bedroll that's a little bit tricky you kind of have to continue I didn't see any bed there unless there's some one Somewhere else. Uh, I don't think I've seen any beds I'm not so sure I can far. Carry much more. There's a bit of a track, yeah. There's all these noises. Hmm. I need to make more torches soon. This match has lasted a long time. Gosh, this is a long walk through all this stuff. Uh, I have a feeling there's something up here. Maybe we can make a fire there. Let's grab these. Okay, let's not grab these. We'll deviate from the road a little bit. See if there's something up here. And I can also make a fire. I don't really need to get warm or anything, but... These are kind of hard to reach. But more torches would be good. This uh, seems like, yeah, it seems like there's a cave here. Grab these quick. Hopefully the torch won't burn out. Alright. There we are in a cave. Nice. Let's actually make a fire out here. Uh, because it will burn longer. Well, kind of. It's actually based on where the player is standing, not where the fire is. Oh. Something's gotta go. One or two more chances. Come on. <clears throat> oh, I could have lit a book on fire. I forgot about that. If we fail again, that's what I'll do. Come on. Come on. Okay, that's what we're going to do then. Go. 80% chance. <clears throat> you can do this. Oh, come on. 80% chance and you failed me. Last chance now. Don't do this to me. Come on. Yes, there we go. Both times the charm. Oh, come on. Work. Come on. Fine. We'll use a match then. If I hadn't picked up those row sips, it would have been uh, okay. Oh well. I'll use a match instead. Come on. I was like, oh, there we go. And then, then I jinxed it. Usually it still succeeds if you take it that I far. Did. All right. Put that on. Do these. Let's also harvest this. And let's have a drink. We might have to sleep here, actually. I'm not sure, though. Uh, we could maybe continue. But yeah, four degrees. We don't. We're not that cold, so let's just add some fuel. Take some torches. We need at least. I'm not sure how many we need, but at least six. Let's see if we can get good torches. It doesn't have to be good, good, but like at least acceptable torches. Okay, we have this cave now. If we can't find shelter, we can come back to this cave. Too much stuff to carry. That's not a great torch. It is a lot of stuff, Will, but... Okay. Let's continue, because we're, we're heavy, but it's acceptable. It would be nice to find something other than a cave to sleep in. But it's good to know that it's there. Alright. Let's keep going. Through this fog. 
I mean, it would be annoying to get glimmer fog uh, like insomnia now. <laughs> I wonder how big this region is. I kind of got the impression it's kind of like Pleasant Valley uh, size. Oh, at least this was good timing, like fog wise, considering I can't see anything anyway. Alright, anything here? Matches, maybe? Don't see anything here. Take a look, though. Oh. Actually, let me just check. Oh, none of these are better. We can make the improvised crampons, though. Uh, if we just get the scrap metal. Because we can harvest those with cured leather. In case I need to sleep outside, I'm picking up all the sticks I can. At least the sticks that I see. A lot of row sips here. I bet you this is a mountain path thing that eventually leads down to the, the airfield. I wonder if I could see the airfield here normally. But I just can't right now because, uh, <laughs> because of the fog. <laughs> I wonder. I'm missing out on all the scenery. That would be a shame. Okay, I guess that is a distinct possibility. All right. I was following this road. Fog should start lifting soon. Like in an hour or two in game. Because now it's getting dark also, the sun's going down. Let's see what we can find in terms of refuge. I mean, I'll, I go, I'll go back, worst case, but I think it's better now to continue and then sleep somewhere else sporadically with a fire or something. Actually, it, it is probably in, in the future now that when I can see the view, maybe I can barely go down and it'd be a shorter trek. But at the moment, yeah, this is a journey to get there. This is a journey through the transfer line and then the transfer hub. I keep going to transfer line, but it's the, the far range line, branch line. Through the branch line, hub itself is very small, like really small. <coughs> but the transfer line is big. Okay, it is, it is clearing up a bit. Yeah, it's clearing up. Nice. I thought it would uh, around that. The fog, like blizzards can kind of stack and last for a really long time. But in my experience, um, Fog doesn't usually do that. Fog usually starts clearing up. Uh, let's check up up here. After like two to four hours, four hours maybe. Weather does, generally speaking, change every four hours on Interloper. But it varies a little bit. I suppose there's anything on, on top of this, is there? And <laughs> yeah, now we can see a bit more. And nothing here though. a little path but nothing there. Interesting to check this out on Stalker though. Be the limb. This is I love this part of the day when it's like the sun's going down but you get this kind of like you get this twilight. Now you can see so I wonder what, what view we had if anything up there. Rabbits! Cattails, maybe, as well. And uh, no. No cattails. Alright, but we're going down now. We're approaching something. Anything up there doesn't look like there's anything. That looks like just terrain. Alright, we're making progress towards something. Airfield that way. Good. We want to go there. It's gonna take a while to explore this whole thing. All these oak trees. But no oak material though. 
Maybe you need an axe to actually grab it. Is that a trailer over there? I think it might be. In which case, I think we found our spot for the night. It is a trailer. Nice. Cold is making my head feel thick. All right. Uh, what we got here, if anything? Car works. Oh, coal! Wow, wow, wow! Let's grab it. Mine. It was warm. A note. I'll keep writing as long as my hands hold up. The old world can't be all broken. I didn't fly in here, and there's no way to they can, f can make me fly out, no matter what the hell they say is going on. All right. Junkers Paddock. All right. It's dusk, so night can't be far behind. Yeah, we'll probably sleep here, or at least very soon we'll sleep here. I forgot to check the vices in that car, actually. I don't know if you can check the vices in that, can you? Hey, is that pork and beans? Dog food. I think there were vices on the one. Hey, look at that! Polaroid! Hey! Cool. What a shot. Can't believe we got up here. Interesting. Alright. Now that's something to worth worth checking out. Uh, let me just have a... Before I go inside, let me just have a quick look around here. Hmm. Let's have a look in here, but before I do, I'm just going to light this with a good torch. And then I can do this. I need to find a place to rest. Okay, so I'm here, and the thing I found is all the way up there. Okay, it's far away. What we got in here then? Damn. Freeze. Okay. Let's see what we got. Beef jerky. Workbench. Okay, good. Good to know. Could actually make the cramp once if we had uh, either a hacksaw or um, scrap metal. Yeah. I think I found that five already. Nothing. Nothing. You can see there's not much on interloper, is there? Nothing really. Okay. I think we'll wait here until the morning then. Let's get some sleep and recover some health and whatnot. Break this down. Let's do some inventory management. Build some stuff out. We could maybe repair something actually. Uh, yeah, let's repair this. Oh no, I don't know. Actually, that's going to take too long. Uh, how about this? Is it better? This is worth repairing though. If I can. That's ah, too dark. Okay, let's see what else though. Um, Let's do some of this. Get as tired as we can, can pass as much time as possible. Same here, make these. Okay. Guess that's probably it. Yeah. We got a little bit too much stuff on us. That's because of this. And this. Let's drop this. And oh we don't actually have any more tinder, we used all of it. Let's make some tinder. Need some more tinder. I didn't pick up enough for those cattail head things. I like having at least six tinder. 
because you're gonna fail fires quite often. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What else? I'm gonna har harvest these, they only take 10 minutes. It doesn't matter if we wake up late in the day because um, it'll be warmer. Okay, um, guess we can harvest this. We're not going to be using it. All right, let's. Uh, I think we'll probably go for well fed now by eating this stuff. And because we got a lot of cattails, and if we struggle, oh, look at how weird this looks. We struggle. We'll um, uh, we'll just reserve, uh, use our reserves and go back to salvation. Let's just get this full health. Uh, I don't really want to open the cans unless I have to. Because I'm gonna lose calories doing it. Yeah, that's probably good enough. All right, let's sleep ten hours. Air skill increased. <laughs> right, it's day, but we want to wait a bit longer. I'm not going to eat these other ones unless it's time for bed and I have good enough condition. Okay, now it's time for well fed. Drink, and I think we're good to go. And we're not going to be heavy either. <laughs> Let's sleep another two hours. If the weather's terrible, we'll wait longer, but I don't think that'll be necessary. All right, it's like close to noon. Let's see what the weather's like outside. We're good health. We got all the meters up. And we got, eh, it's cold, but not like terrible. You can start running a bit and stuff. Let's follow the the road for now. See what we got. We'll make a fire if we're getting cold. Uh, we could actually check out here quickly because it did seem like it bends and this area is only here. Is there anything here? Or is it just like a little, little detour with nothing in it? It does look like it might just be a little detour with nothing really in it. Yeah, there's some, some sticks. That's a, oh no, we have a deer carcass. Hmm. Buck. Is it worth grabbing that? I don't think so. Not right now at least. Well, it's good to know though. Okay, seeing as we are right here and we're getting cold, we're gonna go back in here, sleep for one hour to warm back up. Now I know that there's a dead carcass then. Very sort of broken railroad type of detail. So I'll sleep here for one more hour to warm up, get some recovery back, and then it'll be slightly warmer outside. Maybe the weather's even gotten better. <coughs> Let's just do that. I'm not going to warm up much, but I think we'll warm all the way up, or very close to. Yeah, good enough. So that's the first, actually, that's the first bed. So I had the bedroll, of course, but that was that there was the first bed I found since Broken Railroad. No, no beds before that. Did that be the keyword to this video as well? Go back to where we started. Waterfall 2. <laughs> I think we got possibly a blizzard coming. It is kind of building. And it's getting foggy in the distance. That would suck if that's the case. If that's the case, we might have to go back and wait it out, because we can't see anything. 
Let's see what we got up here. Right, it looks like you can probably go down there. Two of those. Let's continue for now, so you can find more shelter somewhere. We'll run, because we're cold, so... I wish I had a flare, because if they do have timber wolves in this area, it would be nice to have a flare in case the wind uh, starts picking up. I have quite a lot of sticks here, we don't need any more. Sound like wind. This is a pretty big region. Alright, signs. I don't know what's up there actually, you could, it was possible to go that way. Explore that later. For now we'll just follow the roads. I mean other than that trailer we haven't really seen anything, it's quite the journey isn't it? I think I saw something there on my right. It's a car. Oh wolves, eh? Okay, it's airfield that way. What's this way then? I need to find some place to escape this cold. <laughs> Oh, right. Huh. I bet you up there is the road. Yeah, I bet you... See that right there? I'm pretty sure that's exactly where I came in. And we're walking around and I, I threw a torch down and stuff. I couldn't see it. I bet that was up there. Okay, uh, let's check here. Visors. We are cold. For the most part. Let's see if we can find shelter. If not, we'll make a fire soon. Hmm, I wonder if we can go up there. Never felt so cold in my life. We can go down there. Uh, which I think we'll do later. We'll follow the road for now. The biggest loot locations are likely to be connected with the road. That's what the buildings will connect to. Might be a cut or something around. I think I see something in the distance there. It's either rock or building. Let's uh, let's continue a bit more before we light the fire. See if we can see anything. Okay, that looks like it's actually the airfield. Yeah. In which case we'll continue. That wasn't so bad. Massive trip though. If it wasn't for that uh, trailer, it would have been difficult. Wolves. Somewhere down there. That's a lot of wolves. That sounds possibly timber wolfy. Ah, here we are. Look at that. We found the airport. Signs helped. Right, let's see if we can go indoors somewhere here, because that would be nice. Like maybe in the control tower, for example. It'd be nice to warm up a bit. Um, just anywhere, really. Anywhere you can warm up. Uh, I guess we can go to the control tower first. Wind is picking up and everything, so... Alright, field 31. That's also from the trailer, but they hid from the actual tower. Hey, chocolate bar. Just in case, okay, I don't suppose they put anything in here now, have they? No. <laughs> Would have been something. No. Okay, oh, this looks like you can go inside, so let's do that first. Oh, uh, okay. Car. Let's check the car. Now there's a reason to check these. Battery. Alright, let's check this car as well, quick. Ok, 
Okay. okay. Let's check this out. Okay, this is one of these not really indoor type of places. <laughs> is there a bed here? <laughs> that would be good. There's not a bed here. Okay, let's uh, see if we can warm up a little bit here. No, we can't really. Okay. Can I make a fire? No. Is there a fire pit, maybe? No, to make a fire. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's come back and loot this a bit later then. Let's see, can I go in here instead? Hey, a rab rabbit. Uh, control tower, okay. Uh, okay. Wait with that. Yeah. It does seem like it's all kind of indoor. Don't think there's a bed here, is there? It would be nice though, but let's just have a quick look. I don't see any beds. A note, okay. Well, in that case, we need to make a fire before I explore because it's gonna be cold. I'm guessing I cannot make a fire here, no. Okay, we need to uh, make a fire then somewhere. How about inside this hangar? Because it's getting really cold. I can't really loot it if I'm going around being cold all the time. Okay, here we are. The airfield's actually much smaller than I pictured. Uh, oh, that scared me a bit. I don't see any here either, so let's just make a fire. Can I make it on top of these tires? That'd be funny. Oh, we can make it here. Too close to another object. Uh, invalid location. Come on. Go okay, here then. Almost forgot the oldest trick in the book. Light the torch first. And go. We need to warm up a bit before we properly explore this place. So I'm just going to tank so much damage. <clears throat> no beds, no indoor beds. So it's a bit like Mountaineer's Hut. If you have good enough... Uh, Thank goodness for that. If you have good enough... Let's see if this blows out. It doesn't. If you have good enough for gear, you can just sleep in it. But if not, it's a bit tricky. Okay, water. We don't have much water, so let's make water and also warm up that way. There we are. Make some more water. Let's loot here. found much loot at all. I wonder if they reduced the loot a bit more on Interloper actually than it used to be. Uh, might just be in my head so. But uh, that would be good if that was the case. Scrap metal. Simple tools could be useful. Alright. Uh, ah. Charcoal. Can I enter this? I can. Ooh. Oh, lockers. Cool. I want to find a crashed helicopter, though. Ah, oh, okay. You can loot it like this. Nice. Yes, is that it? Ah, oh, front. Here. Uh, what's that? Plank. Oh. Really? That was weird. Hmm. Alright. Interesting. Okay. I think that's it in here. Except for this plane. Let's uh, do this. There we go. That's up there. All right. Have a drink. Uh, 
Make more water. So you can we enter this plane? That would be good. You can, sweet. Uh don't see anything here. How about here? Nothing. Alright, how about this? All these lockers to loot, but there's nothing in I did see some loot in the other building still, so we'll have to go check that out. Oh wait, look. I did not see these. Can you reach those? I wonder if you go in from the other side. Oh, hatch! Wow. Okay. Interesting. Hatch on this side too. What if I go in on this side? Does that change anything? Because there's lockers here, but I can't reach them. I can reach these. Can I switch seats? <laughs> because... Uh, come on. Can they be looted? Hmm. I mean, I guess not. I guess not. If you can hear... Hmm. Alright. I don't suppose I missed anything here, was there? Is there a hatch here too? Yeah, there is, look. Hatch. Hey, a shirt. Take that. How about this side? Oh wow. That must be indoors. It was a bit bigger than I first pictured then. And I had this whole thing. Camber aviation, okay. That's also going back in cycle. I did not see uh, these ones. There's a hatch over here too, right? Alright, sweet. Uh, this can keep burning, I mean, unless it's gonna blow out. Just put sticks on. Take a torch and let's uh, loot some more. I'm not gonna open any of the crates, I don't think. Right, let's let's check out this now, the station or whatever this is. <coughs> what was this? The terminal. Okay. Anything here? Cardboard. I don't like that the doors close by themselves. It's a bit creepy. I mean I guess it's the wind, but still. Alright, we'll take all the water. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Not right now, Will. You're gonna be heavy for a little bit. Check those things to see if there's crackers or something like in Bleak Inlet. Yeah, no. Give me clothing. Oh, wow. Combat pants. Sick. That's the best pants you can get in the game on Interloper, other than um, uh, other than the crafted gear. That is crazy. That should make it easier. Well, it's fuel, isn't it? Down vest. That is probably good. Music. Cool music, actually. Hmm. All right, we can get those repaired. Very cool. Yeah. Lots to loot here. No one's asleep. I think that might be indoors over there. I hope these cables aren't deadly in the Aurora. 
They probably are. I think let's just do this. I think we are warm enough to just explore normally now. Also it's later in the day as well and we got more gear so now it's yeah three degrees. Hmm, nice music. More adventurous music. This place is quite a bit of loot but it's like literally right in the open. see what we got here. It'd be interesting to see it light up in the aurora. Is this anything? Is it just like the hatch? I guess it's the hatch. Okay, let's check out this little room here first. So here we have peaches! But, uh, what happened there? Did I get four of them? I did. What? That was some sort of visual glitch. I picked them up twice. Yeah, I got two of these and two of these. Wow. Okay then. <laughs> that was definitely not intended. Uh, matches! Could use this. this is a guaranteed spawn. Just <laughs> uh, that's good to know. I wonder if these... What? Again happened, see? Okay, well that's a bug. I'll take him now, but uh, that's clearly a bug. That's like the double container, the double safe that we still have now in Fallen Muskeg and stuff like that. Double container was a thing in the summit. We don't need that. I'll loot everything. I'm going for well fed. Got decent health, so if I can sleep indoors somewhere, I'm happy to eat some stuff that uh, give me um, that could give me food poisoning. Okay, so there's almost more, more matches. Okay, let's see if the same thing happens. Actually, let's change it. If I do this, okay, so there's not another match behind it. This is this one. What happens if I pick up? I think I can use yeah, this. Yeah, this time it worked. Okay, doesn't apply to everything. Good. Oh, that was weird. Let's do everything we can here. Okay. Uh, we don't need a spray can. At least I don't think so. Anything around here? Chairs, metal. All right, let's go up top then. Mm, I'm kind of heavy. Use it worst torches first. We have enough sticks, so let's just drop this. We don't need this many anymore because we got a lot of matches. All right, let's see if we go up here in the control tower. We got stuff. There's the wolf drawings. Huh. Or do you like had wolf drawings and things? Guess not. Good view from here too. Right, what does this say? We're leaving. Can't stand the lights any longer. No sleep. Just no sleep. We're walking out of here. Okay. Alright. This might do something though. Like there's a radio here. See this? Might do something when the aurora's on. Maybe there's no aurora tonight. That'd be cool. Not the greatest weather though. Let's see if this torch blows out. It 
where's this control tower when you come down? Okay, let's also loot this plane. Okay, blew out, so that's that much gone. We don't need to carry this. We are quite heavy. Uh, is this the runway? Ah, uh, yeah, it leads on to the other runway. Let's see if we got anything in this plane. Give me clothing items. I like that you can search the hatches. That was an easy thing to miss. Okay, nothing really there. Uh, I think there's, yeah, these structures might be something there. I wonder if the story mode uh, is going to suggest that this is where Will was supposed to land, you know, the airstrip. Ah, look at this. Ah, another map. Okay, we'll have a look at that when we're inside. That's interesting. I wasn't there before. Let's see what we got here, though. The burned down building. Maybe this building is up if you play on lower difficulties. It might be one of those interloper buildings that's burned down. What else is there? There's a spray can. I'll tell you what, I'll take one of these cans, just to have one. Okay, we kind of looted all of that stuff, but we have not looted that helicopter or that big building. So we'll go there. Alright, let's go. Auto walk, activate. Do your worst. <laughs> well, quite a lot of loot, I bet this area has... Um, um, has a lot of stuff on lower difficulties. Because it's decent amount of loot here. I found a few clothing items, a bit of food. Not a matches though. I, I think, I'm gonna guess that one of those two match spots that I found, one of them is guaranteed. And the other one's random. We'll see though. When they're in the open like that, it's usually a good sign. But well, they could have changed that to fit with loot tables and stuff too. We don't really know. Let's see. If I can, I'll loot this helicopter before I go inside. I'm tired, heavy, slow. Main hangar. Hangar with an E? Maybe right with an A. Like hanging out. What have More we here? driving gloves. Let's see if I can get in here too. I think we'll keep going for well fed. I think lower difficulties is going to have a lot of loot in this area. Like a lot of loot. Okay. Check these things again. I wonder though. Can I? Guess not then. Where's the good stuff? <laughs> well, here it is, Will. The ketchup chip. I tried ketchup chip once. Some viewers sent it to me. Um, slick subversive. It's a dabbing squid and creamy. Sent me this whole candle packet. A few, I think it's a couple of years ago now. And I tried ketchup chips, and they were pretty good. They were kind of like a bit similar to like salt and vinegar crisps. Okay, before I go in, I'm just gonna check around the corner. A lot of wolves howl, wolf howls, but not any wolves. Mm -mm. Okay, I just wanted to see if there was like anything around here, but it doesn't see. Oh, oh, there's the door. Yeah, sure. Let's go this way. Just in case it leads somewhere else. 
Like, this seems like it's indoors, so we can actually sleep here. Alright. Nice. Uh, I might permit myself a match here, especially because we found extra matches by a glitch. I want to be able to see. I want that. Are we really that heavy? I guess we are a bit heavy. We can also sleep and continue looting in the morning, I suppose. Let's have chips. Yeah, we're warming up. That's good. I've never been so hungry in my life. Yeah, I mean, you both will. It's kind of like Will's hangar. A lot of stuff to loot in there, wow. This is like going to the dam in Mystery Lake. It just takes forever to loot everything. There's just so much stuff. Hey, a sign kit. Nice, another one of those things. Probably got your work cut out for you, Mr. Prybon. Oh yeah, the keyword, Waterfall 2. Uh, maybe... What? Aww, isn't that cute? <laughs> Yeah, waterfall two can be the keyword. Uh, not much in here unless there's something behind these things. Does not look like it. Okay. Oh, there's more stuff. So much stuff. Loot all this stuff. I think I want to loot upstairs before I do downstairs, but it doesn't really matter. Hey, is that a baseball? Uh -huh. Okay. I don't see anything else. I guess we can go down. That was a very slow. That's the other entrance. That's uh, the door that I saw. Oh! You can go even further down? Well, now that you uh, have presented me with the option, let's have a look. Really? Wow. What is this? Okay, where does this lead? What? The whole room down here. Hang a basement. If you feel you want to take pride in being a pilot's best resource in the wilderness, from refueling to resupplying to a hot cup of coffee, our goal is to be a welcome way station for all visitors. From time to time, sensitive and hazardous cargo will pass through our hands, and we need to make sure all precautions are taken to safeguard it while it's in our care. Your supervisor will direct you in all work tasks that may or may not intersect with such cargo. Otherwise, it is nothing field associates need to concern themselves with. This is for your safety. Similarly, any off-field visitors you may see handling unlabeled cargo are not to be engaged or noted in any way. Their clearance is pre-checked before they arrive. We hope you find your work at a little outpost rewarding. Day shift supervisor, thank you for choosing Vault 75. Sorry, Vault 31. <laughs> Just decided to do that in like a 1950s uh, uh, employment video there. Um, yeah, you close that door. Ghosts. Accelerant. Oh. The hatch. Cloth. Five cloth from that. Wow. Okay. That's good to know. You can grab that. Can you then grab this? You can. Wow. Four cloth. Nice. Okay. We don't need it right now, though. But that's good to know. A lot of coal. We have too this much coal, if anything. Hey, carry. it's a bed. It's a bed. And a forge! It's a forge! And the second can. Wow! So the four forge, so that means that now an interloper, there's four forges. So I found a hammer, I could just make stuff here. Need a hacksaw though. Wow, okay, so we could, uh, we could forge, uh, here. Yeah. This is... I mean, the thing is though, that... Getting here... 
uh, involves going through Broken Railroad, I think we'll just sleep here. So that would be kind of like... What's the date? Uh, okay, we could maybe read an hour. That's kind of like where you would want to... Um, to forge anyway. Anything right now. Mm, too dark. So if you go through Broken Railroad to get there, you'll probably... You'll probably forge there, but it's good to know that you can forge there if you want to. I'm gonna eat some stuff that might give me food poisoning. Just to get rid of them. <clears throat> I'd like to find a can open or something before I open those things or get high cooking level. Okay, we got that. Uh, just it. Alright, getting slightly lighter. <clears throat> Let's sleep. Uh, 10 hours. Oh, damn, and it was an Aurora. Dang. Oh, there'll probably be another Aurora. This is one of those areas, I think, where there'll be more Auroras than normal because it uh, it kind of plays into it. It's, it's like Blackrock and, uh, and Bleak Inlet. You tend to get more Auroras in those areas because it's more necessary. Uh, let's drop some stuff like uh, We don't because we have all the coal we have so much coal actually now. We don't need all this stuff anymore It's like that or something uh, We don't need this for now anyway uh, What else Right clothing items um might repair this. And let's get rid of this. We're never going to use it. Uh, we're not going to be using this other one here. Because you can only have one slot with the vests. And then we have this also, it's worse. I think we're gonna just drop this though. Oops. What did I do there? That was not meant to be. I was uh, not sure what happened there. And not sure what's happening now either. <laughs> uh, this we can just harvest now. You served your purpose. Thank you so much, hat. And I guess that's probably it. We can harvest this too. Actually, we can keep that, but harvest like this. And let's also prepare this. This is really, really good. This is a lot of warmth. Come on. Come on. Now they're combat pants, but come on. We have a 70% chance to succeed, and we failed four times. Okay, better. The rest can, can stay, I guess, for now. Yeah. Get rid of some weight as well, not that heavy anymore. Oh, I can't see anything. It's because it's literally just the basement, is it? I guess we have to use a match then. Yeah, there's literally no lights in here, except the Aurora. Okay, well that's good to good to know. Uh, I might actually then, since I lit this in the first place, let's just make a uh, fire here. Yeah, use the book, why not? Just to get some more torches. Because I ran out of torches. Come on, come on. No wonder there's a lot of coal around. Where could, we, where could we find coal nearby, though, is a good question. Uh, let's get good torches only, because we have a lot of fuel now. No. Let's light up the room a bit. Okay, good. So I was going to loot this, by the way. Acceptable. Barely though. This stuff will come in handy. Hey, what? 
Oh, under. I was like, do you want to take the cold out of it again or what? You know. Uh, that's not good. Let's also eat something to, to reduce the weight a bit. Uh, let's eat this. And some of these. Well fed is still a couple days away, so. But then we won't be heavy anymore. We don't need to make water anytime soon. Okay, that's good. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so there is a bed in here, that's good to know. That bed. Really nice. Okay. Let's see if we can catch an aurora. Now I can actually see the room. <laughs> Alright, good to know that we can actually go down here. That's that's interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here then. This is a massive place. Like, this is a massive place. The loot. I mean, it's huge. I don't feel like there's ever anything inside the planes. At least I haven't really seen anything. Uh, what? Oh, okay. Um, there were, yeah, these also. Let's check that out. Hammer, give me a hammer. Hammer near the forge. I mean, how cool would that be? I'd be a bit broken though, especially on interloper. Wonder if the owner's around. What? Why is there a, a firearm cleaning kit on interloper? Okay. That should not be there. This isn't gun love. <laughs> don't really need the torch, but it makes it easy to see. Ah, okay, this... Oh, no, I see. That's meant to be 2.0027. See if I got <laughs> that wrong. This probably lights up in the row and I can read it. Um, yeah, some things. Crates. Suitcase. I could use this. Uh, probably don't need that, actually. This is definitely a dangerous place during the Aurora. Like, it definitely lights up with the red cables, the red spaghetti, which will kill you. Uh, um, nothing really here. This will be interesting to explore on lower difficulties. It's definitely going to be more loot. I did a good job designing this stuff. And again, there's nothing in these back parts. It's a bit like the tractors. Uh, the tractors in the long dark, when I play an interloper, and I, re I very often don't check them. Every once in a blue moon, you find a, a tractor uh, that has, like, uh, a chocolate or a soda can in it. And obviously the the key to Paradise Meadows in the one there. But other than that, you don't really get anything. So I, I often don't bother checking them. <clears throat> this is a bit the same. Hey, a climbing rope. Uh, we're not going to touch that for now. That's good to know. What's that on the floor? It's a took. Nothing took. Check all the stuff. Uh, right, we'll, we'll check the front. Let me why not. Maybe the front is more interesting. During the Aurora, you know, it might, might be something that, I don't know, we'll figure that out. And then we got the hatch. Could end up Shoes being useful. that are probably worse. Can you go down in the basement here? No. <laughs> That's cool that there's a basement with a forge 
There's a forge in the basement. Alright, let's check here first. Uh, what are we got in here? Seems like kind of like an office. Okay, we got cured leather. I found more scrap metal. I could actually make the crampons. I have three, I think. Is it three? Yeah, and you need four. Uh, da, 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 da. But I can't break these things down. You need you need a hack hacksaw for that. All right, where have I hit? What have we got? Scrap metal. <laughs> Scrap metal. Okay, well then we can make it. Where did I see the workbench? Was that? Was it downstairs? I don't remember. Uh, there was a workbench. Was it hanging? Like the open hanger? I don't remember. I, I can't remember. But there was one I came across, wasn't that? Uh, was it downstairs? Was it outside? I think maybe actually it was in the terminal. I think there was a workbench. That'll hey, hello, T. Nice. That will come in handy. Alright, let's check upstairs on this side as well. Gosh, there's a lot to check here. Holy crap. Not much loot on Interloper. But the else is new. But there is uh, some enough to uh, for it to be worth checking. On lower difficulties, I bet there's a lot, a lot of cloth. I mean, so much cloth. I mean, look at this. This is ten cloth by itself, and you have more of it over there, over there, over there, uh, over there. There's some in there. I mean, did in this building alone, there must be. Uh, I mean, and there was more down. Uh, it's, Maybe it's like a hundred cloth or something. There's so much of it around. Especially if you include things like this, breaking that down. Hey, this is the staff kitchen. Cool. Uh, give me a cooking pot. I wouldn't say no to that. It's a small can, but I already have my second can now. I mean, this would be the place where you could find a can opener. <laughs> I guess they don't have one. Alright, okay. Uh, wood, showers, toilet water. We have a lot of toilet water. Broom. Uh, and showers, yeah. Cloth, more cloth. This is kind of like the staff quarters here. Uh, and here we have ketchup chips, bandage, painkillers, more cloth, what do you know? So much cloth, holy crap, not gonna run out of anything anytime soon. Okay, so that and more scrap metal as well. So I think that's everything looted. Where did I see the... Uh, how much cloth do I have? 12. Where did I see the workman? Was it... Oh, another pry bar. The one I have is probably quite worn, yeah. Uh, I checked all that, yeah. I think, yeah. I think actually it was outside, wasn't it? It was in that smaller hangar. But let me just double check. Uh, just to make sure I don't... You know, take a detour when it's not necessary. <laughs> So let's just quickly have a look downstairs. Just to make sure. I mean, where does the smoke from this uh, forge come out of? <laughs> was there a workbench? There was a workbench, yeah, okay. But the question is, can I forge while it's dark? Okay, let's douse this for, for science. Uh, so, see, I can make the crampons, you see. Oh, and you use these. Because I have the scrap and the metal. Okay, it counts. It's a bit like being indoors in the dark uh, in the morning in like a cabin or something. 
All right, we got the improvised crampons, which give just that, really. So we don't really need them at all, but might as well. Uh, let's use this bedroll trick to get out. Oh, the stairs. Was it here? Yeah. And the door closed. Okay. All right, let's go back outside, I guess. What do we do now, then? Oh wow, what a nice day. And we're warm too. So let's let's sort out some food and whatnot first. So we'll eat things. Because we're heavy, but not not extremely heavy. Uh, let's actually maybe drop some things that we don't need. So this can be like our makeshift base. But let's just go in here and uh First, let's just keep eating these. Uh, bah, 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 yep, and then we drink this. Let's have a look. Okay. Uh, because it's kind of like our base, let's just put stuff here on the table or something. Yeah, why not? Let's leave the books. Uh, I don't know when I'll read the books. Let's put the books here. This is a little base. Uh, what else can we drop there? So there's some clothing that we're not using, which I think we'll just drop. Like we're not going to carry this around. It sounds like the weather just got a lot worse. That's just see about that. What else? Um, right. Storage. Is there a store here? Storage. Let's put some storage things in here. Uh, so for example, we don't need to carry the feathers around. We don't need most of this cloth. Uh, let's actually carry a little bit more than usual because it might repair something. We don't need this. Uh, we don't need these. All the tools. Carry these things for gimmicks. Uh, we'll carry all that. We can put some of these in here. Uh, and we, let's put some matches in here. And also a little bit of this. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Alright, let's see what's uh, outside. Let's put like... I mean... Oops. Main hangar is now main. In FA, in case I didn't know. Let's see, is it still nice outside or did it change? It's still nice, okay. So, uh, if you look to the north, so, uh, so this is where I want to go. And it looks to me like that's basically up there, that's up there. This is a pretty big area, actually. <clears> okay, <throat> right, let's head. Let's head this way. So we find something. I bet you have to go over here. There and around. I think I'm gonna drink a coffee. It's not that late, is it? There's an exploratory run anyway. Oh, more structures. Ah. All right. Let's drink a coffee. They sure have added a lot of sounds. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Cargo Masters this trailer. Oh wow, the another jerry can. Cool. We don't really need it though. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. We got timber wolves in this region. Because there are two marine flares now. Okay, that's good to know. 
Especially if there's a wind. Okay, that means there's Timberwolves. The wolves have been hearing at Timberwolves then. Oops. Let's see what else there is. Can is this a river or something? Can I cross this? Yeah. I wanna go over there. That 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 thing there, that little like ridge. So you probably go up there and then over here for the vista. Didn't say no to some more. Um Uh, charcoal though. I didn't pick them up from the forge. We should be fine with food. Can I go up here? Uh, kind of. I don't think you were meant to. I keep hearing the Timberwolves, but I don't see them. Uh, again, I heard them. What is this place? I wonder if this is up in uh, lower difficulties. I don't think so. Look how wide and open this area is. They're like, really open. Surveyor's memory. Well, we can map it. Yeah, all right. I keep hearing the walls, but they are not to be seen. Which, of course, is a good thing. Oh, there's a plane over there. Is that a plane? Or is that a helicopter? No, that's a plane. I wouldn't mind finding the helicopter, <laughs> that would be good. Because maybe there's a distress pistol in there. It's a nice clear day also. Oh, we got a lot of cattails here. We'll, we won't grab all of them now, we'll grab the ones that are on the way. Four. Look at us, we got full health. Meters are kind of full. Oh, the helicopter is definitely the thing. The helicopter and the ranger's cabin. I wonder if the ranger's cabin is up here. Is that it? See that right there? Where my phone is pointing? I think that's a cabin. I think that might be the ranger's cabin. Yeah, there's definitely places to, like, find here. The airfield is, like, big and in the open. But there's all sorts of other things. And the wolves are howling all over the place, but are not to be seen. What is this place? And a lot of cattails there. That's great. This looks like it should be possible to get up here. There they are. There's the Timberwolves. Hey, there's a helicopter. Sweet. That's where it is. And there's the Timberwolves. There's three of them. They're pretty far away at the moment. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we found the helicopter. And that's there, two male there. Hey, you stay away from me. I wanna check this out. Ah, look at this. 
This is cool. Final approach. Alright. Let's uh let's map this. Alright. It's good to know. What are we got in here? Uh we got corpse of the pilot presumably. Oh wow, no way. No <laughs> No And I have a flare shell so it's No I know you can sleep in this bed. Ah. Uh, I guess on lower difficulties it's there. Uh, oh well, you wanted to make it uh, rare on interloper. I suppose that's fine. Lopka, okay. Shame. Why am I you're warm in here? This is kind of like Tim Wolf, like the mountain is hot. Uh, an interloper is nothing really here other than the bed of course which itself is something I will right, well, range his cabin in his turn okay well thanks anyway that was a cool thing to discover Uh, yeah, there it is. That that must be the ranger's cabin. Let's head there. I think the uh, the Polaroid must be like near there. Gosh, it is really wide out. This this place is easy to get lost in if you're in a blizzard or fog. More so than Pleasant Valley, I would say, because it's so <laughs> wide and open. You know, you, especially over here. Look at this. It's like this massive plain. You have to find, like, you find a road or something, and even though you don't know where in the road you are, but at least you can follow the road. Three male deer. Uh, so here it's easy to get lost, I would say. I would say, for sure. Hmm. I'm going straight to the ranger's cabin. No points. Not even close. Uh, kind of. Kind of that way. That way to Forsaken Airfield. Kind of. That way to <laughs> that. Okay. In an emergency you can use that as a compass. It always points the same direction. I don't really need to run actually. I'm just wasting energy. Is this a road? Yeah, it is a road. Okay, so this road... Right, yeah, okay. I think where... There was a road earlier where I came down and there was a sign that said airfield and I took that, that road. I guess the other road probably leads here. I mean, this is a cool base. If this is somewhere you can stay and be warm. Because... Uh, we got a great view. We're not particularly cold, so I might as well just walk it. We got these flares. We're not cold. So, so far I've only seen the one pack of timbers. Is that a doe? Yeah, I think that's a doe, yeah. No ptarmigans, though. No ptarmigans, doe. Oh god, it's just so bad. Um, mushrooms. Hello. I'll just follow the roads. I presume it leads all the way around. So, so far, I've been hearing a lot of wolves, but I've only ever seen one wolf pack, which was the Tim Wolf pack. I wonder if there are just a few wolves around here, uh, or if there are a mix of like regular wolves uh, or not. Like in Black Rock, you get timber wolves out in the open, but you get regular wolves in the prison. I wonder if there's regular wolves around here too. I can actually see them walking around that distance. 
Oh. And then the deer over there. <laughs> Is that a cave over there? I don't think so. Alright, Ranger's Cabin. This base is like the most remote base you could possibly choose. It's so far away. It's cool though, I like this region. It is remote though. At the moment, it doesn't seem really worth it for Interloper. You have to see, of course. We got a forge here, but... If you think about, for example, HRV, uh, Hush River Valley, there's a lot of different loot there. And very good early game, especially. And if you go to Ash Canyon, you got some unique loot. So these are kind of like at the extreme ends of the map. In Ash Canyon, you got the backpack <coughs> and the crampons, for that matter. But here, what do you got here? Well, I found the combat pants, but they're, they were just by accident. There's a lot of misc loot. So it's worth going here to loot like nice and gun. to be here. But as of yet, there isn't like an incentive for me to go here early in the game. It's mostly to go here late in the game, I would say. But that might change though. I mean, I'm, I'm a bit surprised there wasn't a distress pistol there. Or at the very least, I, I'm very surprised that that box didn't have like maybe no distress pistol, but like two shells in it or something, you know, just to give that incentive for local players. But maybe there's other stuff. I mean, I would like to find the variants, for example. It's worth coming to these things just to find the item variants. I wish there should be clothing, uh, guns, which won't apply to Interlope, I don't think. But the lantern, for example. And that was in the trailer, so I think the lantern is somewhere. <clears throat> maybe it's up here. That would be cool. I would like that. Those sort of things will make it worth uh, going here. All right, here we are. This is the ranger's cabin. Struggling a bit to render the uh... <laughs> the lines. All right. Let's have a look at the view as well while we're up here. Ah, and the barrels, of course, which you can break down. Mindful cabin. Okay, so it's not ranger's cabin. But mindful cabin. Hey, this is the vista location. Hey, <laughs> cool. Let's do that then. But first, let's just have a little look around. So, you can probably go a bit further that way. You can go a bit further that way. Maybe there's some secrets. You got the helicopter crash down there, the airfield. Probably a bunch of stuff over there as well. Alright, let's map this. Can't feel my feet. We wait. What's that? Island cottage. Ah, and cave, and wolf carcass. I can see that all the way from here. See, I can I can tell that over there there's a cave on the other side of that rock, and there's a wolf carcass in there. <laughs> oh, a hunter's blind too, and a fishing hole. Really, there's a fishing hole. I don't see it. Where is it? It's there. Oh, it's like over there somewhere. Can't see it, but okay. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so there's fishing. That would make this area for a good... This would make this a really good base, actually. Is that visible? Uh, I think it's this thing there. But that would make this a really good base. Because you got rabbits outside here. Uh, you got deer over here. Wolves over here. A lot of cattails, holy crap. And you got a fishing hole as well. Uh, and in addition, uh, you got this cave to cure cavern fever. So that's... That's a really good base over there. More so than here, I'd say. Uh, let's go inside this way. But cool, that's that's interesting though. Let's have a look here. All right, what are we got in here then? In mindful cabin. What have we got? We got trunk. Okay, here we're warming up. Five degrees. 
Got a bathtub for cleaning. Stove. Nice, grab that. Okay, we got... Uh, sorts of drawers. I'm guessing there's a bed in here. Stored water. Ah, cool. We, we got enough to... Yes! Cooking pot. Alright, let's put this back. Dog food. Uh, 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 cooking pot is great. Okay, so the cooking pot could be found here. It's good. Uh, here we have... It's a bit hard to see. Ketchup chips. Anything here? Another one of these. Guess that's it for now. What's upstairs? Upstairs we have a bed. That seems to be it. Okay. There's still more things to explore here. I think this is good for now. Let's uh, eat some stuff and sleep. How tired are we? Not that tired, I guess, but... Uh, can we repair something, actually? Uh, I mean, it's late, isn't it? I don't think we can repair. Um, we can try to repair this. I think it might be too dark. An aurora now will be cool, because I can see the view. Uh, now we can repair that again, I guess. Probably going to be too dark, though. Oh, I guess it's like a starry night or something. Yeah. Because it's not, it's not too cold to repair these things. That behind. Let's repair this. Not sure why I feel so tired. Try again. All socks are worth it. You can find climbing socks on Intel, but they are really rare. So rare that you arguably might even be bug. I don't know. All right, ten degrees warmth bonus. That's pretty good. This was a good find. This is all right. This is not bad. And wool socks are great. Okay, let's sleep. But first, let's eat something. Let's see the low condition things of this. If I get food poisoning, it's not a big deal. I'll just fix it with uh, Reishi. Or antibiotics. There's so much cattail, anyway. Alright. I think we were not gonna get cold here. I think. Whoops. I think this will always stay. Plus five and four degrees or some such. Let's sleep ten hours. Nice, nice view from here. Maybe we can sleep one more hour. It's kind of foggy as well, anyway. So let's maintain this. Fed soon. Nice. All right. Okay. Does look like we don't have much visibility, which is a shame. Uh, let's wait a little bit see if this clears up it would be nice to walk out with a bit more visibility and sleep another hour as well Howling. Let's see, it's still foggy. Uh, I think it's still foggy. Come on. It's worse now. Oh, 
Oh wow, it's much worse. <laughs> I wanted to go to the cabin and see if I could go down. Come on. They're really gonna last that long. Okay, it's clearing up. So what I wanna do is... I wanna head to that old connector thing, not the connector. What's going on? Music changed. Hmm. I want to go to this place. Island Cottage. I wonder if you can Billy go down there. Maybe you can, but we'll see. And then I think that's probably where the video will end. Because we can't explore everything in one go. Because it comes at the cost of me. <laughs> Not watching any other content creators, because I have to just stay away from spoilers. <clears throat> well, let's continue along the line here. Like, along the edge. And let's see if we can see anything. And also if there's a way down. So far, this area is massive. They did say that it's the biggest region, or on par with the biggest region, or oh, wolf. Ah, oh, there are regular wolves. Ah, oh, go away. A regular wolf, eh? Because Pleasant Valley is the largest, they said. And this is on par with that. So there's a wolf up here. Is there anything else here? Okay, okay, rabbit, you might have to be my shield. Sorry about that. All right, rope climbing, I guess that's what that rope was for. Okay, good to know. So that rope that I found, that would be to connect to this. Can you go down here though? <laughs> I think you probably you probably can. Let me try it just for the sake of it. There's a fishing hut. Something in the distance there too. And there's a cottage. Yeah, let's try this. I think it can be done. Probably can be done a lot smoother than this. That wasn't the worst. But yes, it can be done. All right. What is that thing in the distance there? Let's take this. Improve the vision a bit. <gasps> Rabbit. Wait. So cold. Up, so up there is the island cottage. I hope we can walk on this ice. I assume we can. Now how do we get up there though? Those wolves, and they are wolves. <laughs> so there's two wolves on the snow, regular wolves on the ice. Isn't that lovely? Uh, I need to find a way up. Ok, 
Okay, fishing out. Alright, it's good to know that this is here. Uh, it's not as accessible as I thought from the old... Uh, from that cottage, but... Uh, let's see. What is that thing in the distance there? Hey. Never mind me, wolfies. I'm guessing there's a path up, or there's a cave that leads up there. We just need to find... There's something over there, actually. The stairs. Okay. Well, okay, we'll go to the stairs, then. Let's see what we got over here first. Oh, another wolf. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you howl. This is a corpse. Alright. And there's cottage over there, stairs over there. And over here we got a plane, probably a seaplane. And there's a whole area over there to explore, among other things. And of course, we have the wolf carcass in the cave. <laughs> but let's leave that. Let's uh, have a look in here. This is presumably the way up. I mean, the, the word to describe this region is definitely vast, like open and vast. It is much more so than Pleasant Valley, because Pleasant Valley, you have kind of like half of this space in the middle. With uh, the barn and the farm and stuff in the middle, and then that's about it. But here, there's a whole other story. Yeah, it's massive, I and mean, you can get lost really easy in this uh in this terrain if it's a uh, fog or blizzard it's gonna be really really bad right so there's a little cave system here does this give warmth bonus it kind of does all right no, that doesn't actually give anything all right, <laughs> cool. What's uh, is this a deer carcass or? It's a deer carcass. Hey, it's now shelter too. Drift Island. Okay. The saplings. That's saplings. Nice. No looter though. Sun setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Yeah. No cougar. I'm guessing the cougar's not in the game. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here in this uh this cottage. Similar design to the other one. That's cool. Alright, what are we got in here then? Island Cottage. Good books. Sardines. Uh, oh, Polaroid. Oh, wow. That looks like it's uh, the reverse, yeah, down there. Okay. Let's 
Let's see what we got here, and if anything. I'm tempted to go and maybe check out the Polaroid location too. Food. Right, anything else? We got cloth up here. Cardboard box. Can you sleep here? Don't think there's anything else. We got the Polaroid. Okay, let's uh, wait it out here. Let's see. Uh, I think we might start smashing open these cans. How is my clothing condition? Firearm cleaning kit. <laughs> let's eat. Yeah, let's eat these. And if we get food poisoning, it's fine. We'll just sleep through it. Mash it open. We get less calories, but... Okay, I just want to get rid of them because they weigh a lot. I did not get food poisoning from the old dog food. How nice. <laughs> Let's just eat some of these too. I'll get well fed soon too. And let's have a drink. Actually, let's wait. Oh, let's wait a little bit. Let's just grab some cloth or something. Actually, how long to grab this? Sure. I still haven't found any item variants. I mean, we're not going to find a rifle anyway. I guess it's just a lantern, if it does exist. Let's wait, because I want to sleep 10 hours, if I can. I want it to be later in the day. Did I just get well fed? Yeah, I did. Can you see how my health just jumped there? It jumped up. <laughs> How's the well fed bonus kicking in? Yeah. Now we can carry more stuff. Alright. We don't have an Aurora, I don't think. No. Alright, let's, uh, let's sleep. Take the water from this. What was that? I, I heard something. Sleep ten hours. Alright, nice clear day as well. Let's, uh, let's eat some stuff. Get our bellies full again. And let's just rush to the uh, location. And then I think that's it. I was going to end it here, but because we got the Polaroid, let's just do that. Let's get all of this. Get the belly full. Carry less stuff as well this way. Yummy cattails. There we are. All right, let's see. <laughs> Seven days here, yeah, nice. Okay, um, so it's pretty much back where we came and out. But let's see if we can like go down or something. We got these birch saplings there, which is great. That's good to know, because I haven't seen that many saplings actually. And I don't think I've seen really any, but I haven't really been looking for them either.
Can we go down here? Oh, I see something over there. A helicopter, I think. Too many things to explore. Too many things. Then we have a crash plane as well. It does look like the vista would be up that slope there and to the right. But let's do that. Oh, I guess we can take this way. Uh, we'll leave the plane for another time. All the planes I've looted so far have had nothing really in it. So we'll leave that one for later. Now we go this way. We'll leave the cattails and things for now because I just want to have this checked out. And we can re-explore more, re more thoroughly. It will always take. It will always take a while to explore everything. Can't feel my feet because it's just too big. So, for example, when Ash Canyon came out, I went there on Voyage, I think, and then I went there on Interloper, and I learned the map really well. Uh, so I know it like the back of my hand. But uh, even so, every now and then I realize, oh, I didn't look behind this corner. I didn't look here. And, and you find stuff, like, on my main interlope run in, in Damn, Ash Canyon, I went back to revisit Ash Canyon for the third or fourth time on my main run, and after being there, like, dozens and dozens of days, and I walked around the corner, and I was like, well, I'm not sure I've been up this little slope. Oh, and there's, like, two birch saplings there. I didn't even know they existed. So uh, the, the main locations of a map are usually quite easily discovered, but then afterwards, it takes a while to learn all the little intricacies where there's little secrets and stuff. And of course, with the loot as it is now, they might not. Uh, it might be different. They might have changed it, so the loot isn't determined. It might be that that flare gun is sometimes there, for example, in that helicopter. We don't really know. Oh dear! <laughs> right, let's check out this helicopter. I'm guessing it's the same though, it's just nice and colorful, you know? Yeah, it's gonna be the same. I'm seeing us win here. There's a shelter of sorts. And I'm guessing there's nothing in here. Doesn't look like it's anything at least. How cold am I? Not super cold, so let's keep going a little bit. Make a Actually, let's make a fire here, because I want to map this. So let's just make a quick fire here. Oh, the torch is down there. Someone told me that they changed the position of the torch, and it's at the bottom. Uh, which is true. I hadn't really noticed, but uh, it is at the bottom. That's alright, though. Was it always at the bottom? I don't Come on. think it was, Come no. On. And then we'll do it this. How many torches have I got? Or oh. You can grab another one. A good one. Like a really good one. That's a good one. That's map. There we go. And let's just make... Uh, some coffees and things. Oops, that was not ready. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. There we go. Let's go. It is cool with the new music they added. Those saplings. Very sort of exploration 
type of music. <laughs> Actually, ah, let's leave that discovery for another time. Let's get to the. Uh... Ooh. <laughs> to the vista. That's cool music. Gosh, this is a running map for sure. It's so vast. Let's uh, drink a coffee because we're going to be running a lot. That's the airfield hanging down there. Now, this is cool. Must be up there, probably. Looks like you can go there. There's quite a lot of food here. Like, there's a few carcasses, but there's so many cattails along the rivers and the, the, the waterfalls. So there's a lot of cattails here to be found. And uh, quite a lot of rabbits. Fishing hut, you can easily live here. For sure. Even without weapons, you could live here because of all the the fish. Well, all the fish, the fish and the uh, the rabbits, and also f for a while, it's going to sustain you with the uh, the cattails. I haven't seen any bears or moose yet or markings for it or dens there probably is a bear or moose here though it might just be one but in a area as large as this i would be surprised if it's one bear because it's possible though actually it's so wide and open this area I bet you they've hidden little things there and there. I bet you there's uh, nooks and crannies. Like you think of HIV, there's load of stuff to be found in HIV. Oh, look at this. In HIV, there's like all these like little uh, corners and little hidden sh things behind shrubs. There's all sorts of high-end loot to be found in HIV if you just know what to look. And very similar here. All right, we have a uh, another cottage. What have we got in here then? This is Justy's well. hovel. Good old Justy. Uh, what have we here? Some notes. Seeing the helicopters come on the mountain again this year, I counted three last month and two already this month. Always as the weather turns colder. I know they can't go be tourists. Not anymore and not for a long while anyway. Hmm. Bandage. That'll come in here. We don't need these things for now. Not really anything here. Let's just uh, do this. It's gonna get cold now, but that's okay. And map. We need to find some place to escape this cold. Just so okay, we're not far. This way. By the way, a trick you can do, if you want to know the outline of the whole map, not where things are or anything, just like the 
you know, the actual design, the drawing of the map. You can so hop cool. into um, Asset Sleep, sleep uh, or into Dark Walker. I think Asset Sleep is better. And then you just go on the map menu and you select these regions. Because then uh, in that challenge, they, they give you the full maps, but without the locations. They won't tell you where anything is, but it'll tell you the layout. Which I will probably have a look at after. Hey, Barry. Is this the Vista, maybe? But it's here. Done. Uh, Polaroids. Oh, <laughs> and that's the one we did. That looks like easy to see in the row, of course. But it's kind of like this, that, and then trees. It looks like it's actually further to the left, like it's more this way. Is that possible to go? Like if I map here, what happens? Like where am I in, in relation to it? Ah, I've gone past it. It's actually over here. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Must be here then. Is it is it here? <laughs> be like around here. Uh, let's not get stuck here. Thank you. There should be a prompt that comes up. Am I like blind or something? Can't seem to find it. I would, it looks like it would be here to me. No, it is. No, I didn't go past. It is further that way. I just uh, misunderstood the map there. It is. It is further that way. It doesn't seem like you can go further that way though, unless it's over here. But that doesn't look like it's traversable. No. Okay. Well, then we'll. Uh, it's not up here. It's actually further. It will climb down here. Drink this. Ah, blew out. I'll light the fire soon. <laughs> Let's go down then. So that's a bit of a shame. I wasn't actually up there. Oh well. It looked like it was, but and then I got the, the directions wrong. <laughs> okay, good to know that that rope anchor is there, and it's always there. I mean, 
Is it as easy as up here? Is that what it is? I would think it would be higher. Is it? Oh, it's a whole path up here. <laughs> I like it. A whole hidden path. Yes, look at this. Very nice. This is a, I like that when they hide these little things like that. There's a little slope there. So, eh, can you go up the slope? I think so. Eh, maybe. And then there's a whole passage, you know. Uh, with the, there we are. Okay, it's quite windy though, so let's, uh, let's make a fire here. Yeah, why not? Oh, thank goodness for that. This, this is it, yeah. But we can actually do it standing here, because it's the, the studios as the prompt. So let's see what we got. Hey, I didn't reveal that much. Not nearly as much as this. Ah, perch. No landmarks to speak of. Let's just warm up a bit. Oh. Storms are coming. Let's see if there's shelter up here. Wow, where does this go? Where does this go? Not picking stuff up right now. I need to find safety first. There's a whole like sub region up here. this area there's a shortcut back to base it looks like it yeah you can go here but you can go one way but not the other yeah probably I'm just gonna do this take some damage but right I think that is actually what this is Hard to say which way to go here. This looks like it's nothing. Does this lead back to the uh Oh what is this? Oh, it's a whole other area. I wonder if you can go down there. Oh, that's the road, actually. Am I above the road? <laughs> wow. I didn't expect to stumble into this. Uh, the question still remains, though, where's the nearest shelter? That's interesting that they added this whole path like that. That's that's crazy. The whole route that leads somewhere. Make a fire if I have to. Gosh, where does this lead? Like a massive thing.
The last oak. Nice, a road. And now we're back here then, I guess. Let's do this. Take the damage. For science. Yeah, look. Wow, okay. So it takes us all the way back to the exit. Interesting. But on that case, though, I think the nearest shelter... Ow, that was... I didn't think it was going to be that far. I think it's actually back where we came from. Just need to close my eyes. Yeah. Wow, okay. So that's interesting to know. You can actually do that. You can actually go all the way back to transfer pass. There isn't a bed here, but that's okay. I'm just going to go there to uh, make a fire and sleep. Still haven't seen any bears or moose or anything. In this region here, I don't think there's going to ever be any predators. In the trailer, they had like a him wolf walking around here, but I think that was just a thing. I think the, the hub, the connector region, is, is never going to have predators. Why are you playing spooky music? That coog is gonna jump out at me. I think this is actually over here, isn't it? Yep. And there we go. Just barely not warm enough, but that's okay. We'll just do this. Let's just make a little fire. Use the accelerant, why not? And we'll sleep. Put that on. These on. Got a lot of coal as well. Why not? Seven hours. And, uh. Let's. Actually, do it this. Two liters. Sleep two hours. Take that. And then we will uh, eat some of this. And also this. It's gonna last five more hours. Okay. Well, let's let's actually put a bit more on here. We, we don't really need this much coal. So eight hours is fine. We'll put actually ten hours because I think it's gonna get cold, but it's barely cold. So let's do it. I think it will burn out, and then I'll start getting cold, but slowly because it's not gonna be cold enough. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's one degree. There we are. Okay. <laughs> Alright, fellow survivors. I think I'm going to leave you there. Let's, uh... Just, like, aesthetically make a fire while I finish talking. Uh, for the fun of it. I would drink almost anything about now. But yeah, I think that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I didn't explore all of Forsaken Airfield, but we got there. And it was perfectly possible to get there on Lopo this spawning. A little bit of a trek to get there, but it's not too bad. A lot of wolves, some timber wolves. I haven't seen any bears or anything. It's an interesting design in that it's so vast. It's so open and spacious that it's going to take a while to like look around at everything. There's bound to be little things here and there, so... Even though we got the Polaroid and mapped maybe half of it, and I think we've actually explored half. Airfield by far has the most loot, and I'm lower difficulty is going to have a lot, I'm sure. It's interesting that you can take the shortcut back here rather than going all the way around. You can actually just go... Uh, the pa passage was like around here somewhere, and this takes you around. 
So you can actually take a shortcut here then. But this was on the ground as well, so you can just go from the hangar, you know, like this. And that's interesting. Cool to know. Okay. But yeah, so that's a good region. Interesting to see. I need to explore it some more. I'll do that in another video. But this was the first time. This was the blind attempt at, um, at the interloper in the new region. Not knowing anything about it, where anything is, or any loot or anything. I didn't find the item variants. I'm hoping they're on the interloper as well, at least the lantern, but who knows. In any case, this was the uh, blind playth playthrough. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be sure to explore it some more. And uh, it was fun to try something new and feel like you were lost in a game for once. You know, just feel like you didn't really know where to go. Uh, there's only so many times you can have that feeling. But uh, it worked out, yeah, uh, worked out fine. Interesting region, I look forward to what to do next, and I look forward to exploring it some more. With that, I think I will leave you for now, survivors. Good luck in your own adventures, and I'll see you in the far range. Bye-bye.